Atlantic League champion York Revolution is on Sports Radio 1350 WOYK. On to the track, it is gone! It's gone! Revs Baseball on WOYK is brought to you by People's Bank, Wellspan Sports Medicine, Shipley Energy, Maple Donuts, Broadway Transmission, Flying Feet, Dasher Investment Services, York Mitsubishi, Kochman Uncle Insurance Group, Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care, Rudders, Pennsylvania Lottery, Neighborhood Sure Save Markets, PSECU, Kona Ice, Smith, Mayer and Little, York County Bar Association, and by Downtown Inc. Swing a ground ball, rolled to short, dead got it, throws, it's over! And the York Revolution are 2017 Atlantic League champions! Now with the call of today's game, here's the voice of the Atlantic League champion, York Revolution, Daryl Henry. Good evening, everyone, from New Britain Stadium here in New Britain, Connecticut. Welcome to game number 111 of York Revolution Baseball. Tonight, the series finale and a rubber match here in Connecticut. The Revs and the New Britain Bees. Another hot night, but a lot more pleasant. Sun splashed as we hit the air here from southern New England. Hi again, everybody. Daryl Henry with you. We welcome you to Revs Baseball. And it is not quite as sweltering as it was the last two days, although the heat wave won't truly break up here until tomorrow, from what we understand. Temperatures have been right around 89, pushing 90 throughout the day, but a little bit less oppressive here tonight. And the Revs looking for a series win here this evening against the Bees. Last night, a 10-3 loss. They held a 3-2 lead after a Travis Witherspoon sack fly in the fifth, and they held that lead in the sixth. Mitch Atkins was an out away from getting through the sixth inning with that lead. But New Britain, a pair of two-run homers with two outs in the sixth, scored four times, and then in the eighth inning, put the game away, scoring four more. The Revs did strand 11 runners on base last night and had a chance to make their way back in the eighth when they were down 6-3 at the time, had bases loaded one out, but were unable to cash in, and that is how last night's game went. So the Revs, one and one in this series overall in the second half 24 and 22 and for the season 56 and 53 new britain 23 and 23 in the second half and an identical overall record to the revs this season also 56 and 53 last night's loss ended a four game winning streak for the revs which tied their longest of the year and for New Britain, their win ended their own three-game skid. This will be the final meeting between these two teams this season. And tonight, it'll be Robert Carson getting the ball for York. Eight and six with a 371 ERA. Right-hander Kyle Simon goes for New Britain. He's also eight and six. ERA is 4.11. Coming up on our pregame, we'll take a quick look ahead at the upcoming homestand in York that begins tomorrow night. Long Island coming in. For the first of three, we'll preview that. We'll hear from Mace here shortly as well. First pitch tonight set for 635 here at New Britain on Sports Radio 1350 WOYK. Show your patriotism and rev spirit with the new York Revolution Hat Pack. Get six undated ticket vouchers to use any way you'd like and two parking passes plus an exclusive Revolution hat featuring the Revs logo in red, white, and blue. It's an exclusive design from York's own Legacy Athletic and one you can only get through this special offer. The Revs Hat Pack. Six game ticket vouchers, two parking passes, and an exclusive Revolution baseball cap all for just $75. Get yours while supplies last at YorkRevolution.com or 717-801-HITS. There are few situations more stressful than having someone else's well-being in your hands. That's especially true when you're providing senior home care for a member of your own family. The team at Visiting Angels is committed to providing families with the best possible in-home care services. We'll help your loved one continue to live at home and help you find peace of mind. Locally RN owned and nationally known, Visiting Angels is America's choice in home care. Specializing in dementia care for adults and their families, our team will help with bathing and dressing assistance, medication reminders, errands, shopping, light housekeeping, meal prep, friendly companionship, flexible hourly care, and respite care for families. 
Senior Home Care by Angels. Visiting Angels is hiring qualified caregivers. Call our York office at 717-751-2488. That's 751-2488. Or online at visitingangels.com. We are your auto loan experts. Hello, I'm Sue Stefano, president and CEO of First Capital Federal Credit Union. With terms you can trust and competitive rates as low as 2.49% APR, First Capital is the first place to go when you're looking for an auto loan. At First Capital, you're a member, not just a number. You can apply for your loan online at firstcapitalfcu.com or stop by any of our branches. First Capital, putting you first. Federally insured by NCUA. First Capital Federal Credit Union. Listen live, on demand, and on the go. Download the new WOYK app on the Apple and Google Play stores today. Revs and the Bees here tonight from New Britain. Rubber match on tap. We'll take a look ahead here in our pregame tonight. Revs returning home for a big homestand that starts tomorrow. And the first of three this weekend, tomorrow night against Long Island. It'll be a 6.30 first pitch. Tomorrow is Game of Thrones night at People's Bank Park. I'm sure a good number of the ball-playing population will appreciate that. That's a big hit in the clubhouse when the show airs. And uh, Game of Thrones night is tomorrow. As you may know, York High has a home game tomorrow. It's a small field unavailable for parking, but... The, uh, the revs in the city, lots of uh, additional parking options through an agreement with the Susquehanna Commerce Center. Revs fans will be able to park there at their garage for free after 5.30 tomorrow afternoon. That's at the Susquehanna Commerce Center garage and a number of private and public lots within walking distance of the ballpark will be operational as usual. You can check out all of those at downtownyorkpa.com slash parking saturday night we've got post game fireworks it is also negro league night at the stadium and a rookie revs behind the scenes tour then on sunday at 1 p.m it is our made in york day a salute to the american worker it's also our pig out at the park day with porkies in the home run patio great uh, great game time lunch feast available there you can upgrade your ticket for that it is also Disability Awareness Night, Dollar Dog Day, courtesy of Hatfield Quality Meats, and a Sunday Fun Day presented by Wise Markets with pregame autographs, catch in the field, and postgame kids run the bases. Then the team is off on Labor Day Monday. Tuesday at 6.30, the Road Warriors come in. That's a Wells fan sports medicine silver slugger Tuesday. Wednesday, make note, is a 5.30 start. A single admission doubleheader, two seven-inning games. That was on the schedule at the beginning of the year, scheduled that way. Also, Wednesday night, kids can eat free with a voucher available at People's Bank Financial Centers. And it is People's Bank Client Appreciation Night on Wednesday as well. And the homestand concludes Thursday at 6.30 in game four of that four-game, three-day series against the Road Warriors. Tickets for the upcoming homestand available at YorkRevolution.com, 717-801-HITS. And at the Revs ticket office, it is the next-to-last homestand of the 2018 regular season. Hard to believe. Tonight, the Revs will wrap up this visit to New Britain looking for a series win. And we'll talk with Mace on the Broadway Transmission Manager's report coming up next. You'll always hit it out of the park with great Best Yet products from your neighborhood SureSave stores. Like party platters with 1893 deli items, team up Best Yet hot dogs with Best Yet kettle cooked chips. And get Best Yet 12 packs of soda and Best Yet Rising Crust pizzas at Sobel's Markets in Shrewsbury, Stewartstown, Whiteford, and East York. And at Nell's Market Fresh Foods in Spry. Hi, this is Dan Patrick. Join me weekday mornings at 9 on Sports Radio 1350 WOYK.
fans, it's time to go inside the clubhouse for all the latest on your Atlantic League champion New York Revolution and tonight's matchup. It's time for the Broadway Transmission Manager's Report. Now, here's the manager of the Revs, Mark Mason. Hi, Mace. Well, frustrating one last night, and let's start offensively. Was the night mostly about missed opportunities in your mind? Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, you know, the first inning we had bases loaded, and we got one run on, on like a wild pitch where Harris was able to come home, and, you know, then we hit into some double plays later in the game with bases loaded. And, you know, I mean, even when we were down 6-3, in the uh, top of the eighth, and we had bases loaded and middle of the lineup coming up, but uh, you know we, we just couldn't get to it. With uh, with Mitch Atkins, you know, going along pretty well and 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 out away from getting through six. Uh, what did you see? With was it just a couple pitches he'd want back there with two outs in the sixth? Well, I mean, I, you know, for me, I thought that, you know, I, I saw him shaking his head out there, which means he was not in agreement with what Tejeda wanted to call. Um, you know, and with two out and nobody on, you know, and you're coming into that six, seven, eight, nine part of the order, you know, you don't, uh, you don't anticipate that's going to be four runs at that point. But there's a single and a homer and a single and a homer, and, I mean, that's, that's what it is. But... Uh, probably the most frustrating part about that, and I'm sure Mitch feels the same way, was I think he was ahead of every hitter. You know, some guys were 0-2, 1-2, and, 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 you know, they turned into base hits or home runs. So, um, you know, th that's a little bit frustrating at that point in the game when you can't put guys away. And, you know, I, I really didn't think three runs would be enough to win the game anyway. I thought we would have to add on even when we had the 3-2 uh, the to two lead. But... You know, we were uh, we were not able to add on, and you know, and and they did. I mean, with a four spot in a sixth and a four spot in the eighth, so you know that pretty much dictated what the final outcome was. But I mean, the score was not indicative, I don't think, of how the game was. I mean, because for you know five and a half innings or f you know five and two thirds, whatever. I mean, it was a it was a well fought three two game, but. You know, then after that, it just got away from us. And, you know, their bullpen's pretty good. So it's going to be hard to come back from six, seven runs down. Uh, really, the only thing on, on his line this year that has been high in a bad way is the home runs. But is, is that because he's in the strike zone so much and, and commands his, or uses his fastball so much? And uh, maybe you take the good with the bad there? I agree. You know, I mean... You know, when, when a pitcher shakes his head, he has conviction about what he wants to throw and as far as the pitch, you know, pitch-wise. And, you know, sometimes they're not on the same page with the catcher. And, you know, and then when the pitcher shakes his head and he gives up something, the catcher kind of like, I told you so, <laughs> you know. But um, I, I think if you execute the pitches the way you want, you know, I'm, I'm a believer and it doesn't really matter what, what pitch you're actually going to going to go with is just to be able to execute it and locate it. And I think if you do those things, you'll be in good shape. Well, offensively, the biggest bright spot was Harris, four for five. Two of those hits were bunt hits, and uh, both on the the right side of the infield. What do you think of that approach, where it is to where the pitcher's following through, but when he gets it past him, there's, there's nothing they can do. Oh yeah, no question. Uh, you know, I mean, as soon as he put those balls on the ground, it was like uh, that's a base hit. And I mean, you could tell by their body language they knew it. As soon as they, <laughs> as soon as it got past the pitcher's mound, it's like, well, that's that's going to be the end of that. Uh, you know, but I mean, it was good to see, you know, so go ahead and, and, and be versatile right there. You know, bunt for two hits, get on base, cause some, you know, cause some damage, you know, distract the pitcher because he can, he's a threat to run at any time. So you get all those distractions going on and, you know, it, it, it makes it hard to, to pitch at that point. Well, tonight looking for a series win here and you've got Carson on the hill and uh, uh, there, uh, there really was no question, I guess, about that finger a couple of starts ago. He came out last time and, and was really good again. Oh yeah, um, you know, I, I don't think that I don't think the finger is any longer an issue. Uh, you know, I mean, he's been able to get all his work in in between starts and and all that. I mean, I just maybe sometimes when you get tight up in your shoulders, it can cause a little bit of numbness, you know, here and there. So that might have been the, that might have been the part of it a couple starts ago, but. You know, we're looking for Robbie to go out there and, you know, battle and compete and, 
you know, give us as many innings as he can, then we'll turn it over to the pen. Right, Mace, thanks a lot. Good luck tonight. Yep, thank you. All right, Revs manager Mark Mason on the Broadway Transmission Manager's Report. Right on time as Kyle Simon fires his final warm-up and Alonzo Harris will lead things off. Revs lineup tonight brought to you by Flying Feet. Harrison center, Alexi Casilla at second, Malky Mesa in left field hits third. Cleanup man is Talvin Nash at first. Isaias Tejeda will catch and bat fifth. Jared Mitchell in right field is hitting sixth. Then it's Michael Burgess DHing, Henry Castillo at short, and Steven Figueroa at third. Here is our Dasher Investment Services first pitch, and Zoe is swinging, and he chops a foul over on the third base side. We are underway tonight. First pitch thrown at 6.33. We're not messing around. Here's the 0-1, and he shows bunt. Simon misses low. Alonzo last night, a four for five night, two bunt hits, and you just heard Mays dissect those. 1-1, one, one, swing and a fly ball off the end of the bat toward the line and shallow left Rosa over, and that will end up foul. It is a lot further back into the stands than it looked initially off the bat. Well out of play. One and two on Harris, who's average coming in tonight is up to 292. Pitch from Simon, breaking ball, and slap back to him. On one hop, the big righty gloves, fires to first. And that is how our game begins. Simon works so quickly, and after that foul ball, he was ready to go so quickly that Galvez at second had to make a quick shift and get into position by the time that pitch got to the plate. And that one hit with some funny spin. It kind of zigzagged to Simon. Here's Casilla. First pitch is inside, moving him back slightly. Alexi a night off last night, hitting at 328 as he comes into play tonight. The 1 0. Swing and a bouncing ball up the middle and a base hit into center field. Now Casilla, a one out base runner. Revs had 12 hits last night, and as a team, the last nine hitting up around 360. Last night, though, they left 11 men on base. No one on, one out. Here is Melky Mesa. Alexi on with 13 steals for the year. And the first pitch, swing and a fly ball right field. Jamar Walton positioning, now comes in. One last step at the end, and he makes the grab right out in the shadows. Cast across in right field. Little stutter step with the footwork, but he handles it. So the Revs up swinging early against Kyle Simon, who comes in tonight, 8 and 6, 4.11 ERA. 21 outings, 20 starts, couple complete games, including a range shortened effort in York. Here's Talvin Nash, no score in the first, and he looks at a two seam strike on the inner half. Nash two for four last night, three for five, double shy of the cycle here Tuesday night. Throw to first, Alexi dives back. And Talvin heating up again, and really the only time that he's been quieted was the series at Somerset about a week and a half ago. There's the pitch, and a swing and a cue foul, first base side, 0-2. He came back, had a good home stand, missed the last game with a rolled ankle, but got back in the lineup Tuesday. And a very productive series here so far. He's now hitting 370 for the year. Nine homers, 24 batted in in 23 games. The pitch to him, it's down low. Revs are in the Navy jerseys with the gold and white. New Britain is in... They're yellow or gold tops. Hardware City written across the front. On the pitch to Nash, a swing and a foul tip into the mid of the catcher, Ryan Wagner. He hangs on to it. Two-seam fastball, strikes him out swinging. No runs, one hit, one man left, and we've played a half inning tonight. It's the Rebs nothing, the Bees coming up. 
Are you one of the many people that has a 401k that is eligible to roll over, but you just haven't done it yet? Maybe you're not sure where was the best place to put it. I'm Tom Dasher of Tom Dasher Investment Services. I specialize in helping you getting your 401k and IRA money parked in the best place for you. So if you haven't rolled your 401k yet, or if you're not satisfied with your IRA, call me for a consultation at 487 487- 2096. That's 487 2096. And check out my website at tomdasher.com. Sports injury? Walk into Wellspan Urgent Orthopedics for immediate care. No appointment is ever needed. Our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists are here to treat you. Visit wellspan.org forward slash urgent orthopedics today for hours at our York and Hanover locations. There's a lot of talk out there about good health care. We all want a good plan. But step outside and take a good look at all those beautiful trees and shrubs in your yard. Do you have a plan to maintain their good health? Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care has a veteran staff of 12 fully licensed and trained tree health care professionals to rely on, including 10 certified arborists and 3 PA certified horticulturalists. So don't let your trees and shrubs fend for themselves against Mother Nature. Visit HeritageLawnAndLandscape.com and get world-class care right in your backyard. The revolution plays here. Play ball! The new Sports Radio 1350. Robert Carson getting set to go. No score. The New Britain lineup brought to you by Flying Feet. Darren Ford in center field leads it off. Angelo Sonko, the DH, bat second. Davidson Romero at third base hitting third. Jason Rogers, the cleanup man, playing first. Jovan Rosa in left field will hit fifth. Jamar Walton in right field, bat sixth. Jonathan Galvez, second base, batting seventh. Ryan Wagner spells James Skelton tonight behind the plate and hitting eighth. And Vicente Conde at shortstop, bats ninth. Lineup facing Carson, who's eight and six with a 371 ERA coming in tonight. He'll go from the stretch as always. First pitch of his evening is outside on Ford. Carson seventh in the league in ERA entering play this evening. Ford batting at 275. There's the 1-0. Down and in as he has to jump out of the way. Carson makes him uncomfortable, but falls behind him 2-0. For Rob, this is start number 14, appearance number 30. And after two outs, he will have worked 100 innings this year. Pitch is just off the plate away, 3-0. He is at 99 and a third coming in tonight. Now he's ready. Here's the 3-0 to Ford. And it's right there for a strike. Ford is a big threat to run. 32 steals. Carson would like to avoid having him reach, especially on a walk. Now ready. And the 3-1. It is a called strike in there at the knees. Carson has worked his most innings in a season since 2011. He made 12 starts with Bridgeport three years ago, but 2011, the last time he was a full-time starter all year. He fires, and a swing and a fly ball, left field, hit well. Mesa going back, and he's got it as he crashes against the boards. Melky Mesa makes the grab. Hangs on to it as he collides with the fence in left. One away. And Darren Ford put a charge into it, but Mesa, who's had limited opportunities in left, he has often impressed when he's been out there. And a terrific grab to start tonight's game. Going back onto the track, caught it, held on as his right side banged into the boards and he seems just fine. Here's Sonko, first pitch breaking ball is inside. No one away. Dotella night off tonight, Mesa the start defensively and left. The 
the 1-0 pitch. And a swing and a foul back. That'll get up onto the roof. Sonko hitting 250, couple homers overall for the year. Most of that with Southern Maryland. Four games with New Britain, he is four for 14. And the pitch to him, it's in the dirt. And I think Tejeda missed it, it bounced off the plate on J.B. Torres, but it got him in the padding. Manolo Alejandro is at first. Jorge Tehran, the umpire at third tonight. Two balls and a strike to Sonko. Carson the pit. Fastball called strike outside corner. Carson, the last time he had this many innings, it's a double A at Binghamton in 2011, a Mets prospect as he misses high, three and two. Back when they were the B Mets, the Binghamton Mets, now they're the Rumble Ponies. On the payoff pitch, and a swing and a loop to shallow right center. Alexi out from second, and it plops in over his sprinting out attempt. He goes into a slide to come to a stop. Mitchell in to actually throw it back in. It's a blue base hit for Sonko. Got jammed on it, but he'll be a one-out base runner. And here is Davidson Romero. Carson, that 2011 season at Double A, he was at the time just 21 years old. 14th round pick of the Mets in 07 out of high school in Mississippi. First pitch to Romero, swung on pop foul and out of play to the right. Romero hitting 258, 15 homers, 65 driven in. He was the home run derby champ at the All-Star game. The 1 and a fastball just missed away. He actually, last night, he looked a little lost at the plate. He had a night off the night before. Last night, 0 for 4 with two strikeouts, did walk. It was really the bottom of the order, or at least five on down, that did all of the damage. Pitch here is fouled against the net. And Carson really got in in his kitchen on that swing. 1 and 2. Weather brought to you by Her er, Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care. It is 87 degrees at game time here. It had been pushing 90 all day. Sunny skies. Pitch to Romero, driven in the air, straightaway center. It is Harris out there tonight, drifts over, makes the grab toward right center field. That one had some fade to it. And a fly ball out in center. Gives Carson two down here in the first inning. A scoreless game here at the outset tonight. The heat index at the moment is low 90s, but during the day, middle of the day, the first two days up here, it was the heat index was triple digits. Saw some 105s. It really felt like Sugarland here and here it is late August in New England. Here's Jason Rogers. He takes a first pitch strike. Rogers, the cleanup man. He's hitting at 303, five home runs, 59 batted in. Drove in two to cap their scoring on an eighth inning single last night. The 0 1. It is off the plate away. He is batted up near 330 in the month of August. Entering play tonight just outside of the top 10 in the league in batting, but second in on base percentage, 405 pitch. It is down and away, two balls and a strike. Also top five in doubles with 22. I think our cricket friend is back. 
is better than that raccoon overlooking the press box at Camden Yards. Here's a swing and a chop to short. Castillo waits back, gloves, and flips it off to Casilla covering at the bag. Scoreless first inning for both starters tonight. No runs, one hit, one left. And it's on to the second inning, nothing, nothing. You line your feet up on the edge of the starting block, shake out your arms, and then you push off the block in one fluid motion, fully extending your body and cutting into the water with nothing on your mind but the mechanics. You're a swimmer, and whether it's practice time in the pool or crunch time at a meet, Flying Feet is with you every stroke of the way. Flying Feet. Flying Feet Sports Shoes is a swimmer's paradise. Get suits by Dolphin, Speedo, Nike, Arena, and Tier. Pick up practice gear, team gear, and training equipment like fins, snorkels, and kickboards. The Flying Feet team has high-tech competitive suits, customizable caps, goggles, even goggle repair items. Shower down with swimmer shampoo and body wash, plus suit wash to limit the wear and tear of chlorine. Time to dive into the pool? Then it's time for Flying Feet. We're more than sports shoes. Flying Feet. 1511 Mount Rose Avenue, York, just off exit 18 of I-83, next to Battery Warehouse. So, John, what should the Eagles' focus be this season? Eagles' fast play, for sure. As opposed to what? I'm talking Eagles' fast play tickets from the Pennsylvania Lottery. Playing's faster than our wide receiver running a slant. Faster than our defense blitzing the QB? Oh, yeah. The game's got progressive top prizes, plus second-chance drawings for Eagles game tickets, meet-and-greets, autograph merchandise, and more. Wow. I'm going to get mine fast. Fast play. Play fast, win instantly. Players must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. Benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. The Baltimore Baseball Show with Dan Connolly, right here on Sports Radio 1350 WOYK, York. Well, it is that time of year. We're pulling double duty, Revs baseball, football at all levels. Tonight after the game, our Division I college opening night broadcast, Northwestern at Purdue in progress. Then after that, as part of our NFL package, more preseason action in progress with the Raiders at the Seahawks. That is tonight after the game here on WOYK. Isaias Tejeda will lead things off. Second inning, no score. And Simon's first pitch is down and away. Each team with a single from their number two hitter in the first inning. For York, that was Casilla. For New Britain, that was Songko. Here's the 1 0. Swinging a bouncing ball, second base. Galvez waits for the hop, gloves, and throws over to first. And there's one down. Well, tomorrow night, week two of our high school coverage presented by Wellspan Sports Medicine. Gareth Hissong and Brett Petrak have the call on our new WOYK Preps YouTube channel. McCaskey at York High at 6.30 live on WOYK Preps on YouTube. You can also see it on demand later. And we'll re-air the audio broadcast Saturday at 11 a.m. Here's Jared Mitchell, who shortens, takes a strike. That is following Central PA game day with Steve Navaroli and Brett Petrak Saturday at 9. The 0-1, swinging a ground ball sharply to second. Galvez again, just about went to it knee, comes up with it cleanly. Takes his time and then throws to first. Two up, two down. Simon is a ground ball pitcher. And when he is at his best, he will roll many a grounder. And here is Michael Burgess with two outs quickly. No score here in the second inning tonight. Burgess, the DH, hitting 222, 13 homers, 44 driven in. Pitch from Simon, it is over for a strike. Now the 0-1, down and in as Burgess dances out of the way. Simon is 6'6", 220. We won't have a matchup of Long Beach, California Natives tonight. Dent is on the bench tonight. And here's a backdoor slider just missed. 
Two balls, one strike. Simon does work quickly, back home, and a swing and a pop foul, straight back and out of play. He will eat some innings, Simon will. He's now 31 years old, third season with New Britain, fourth in the league. Well, he fires, and a breaking ball misses away. fourth in the league in innings entering the night. Here's a ground ball down to first base sharply, but right to Jason Rogers, who takes it to the bag himself. And a three up, three down. Second inning for Simon, all on ground ball outs to the right side of the infield. Burgess did work at full, but Simon gets him as well. Revs down in order. We go to the bottom of the second tonight, still no score. Money and business are essential to the strength of a community. So is cheering and celebration and music and fun. That's why York Revolution games, concerts, youth sports, special events, and more happen at a place called People's Bank Park. People's Bank has been serving York County for more than 150 years. Always cheering, always celebrating, always committed to the things that make York County great. And to you having a great time at People's Bank Park. People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You'll always hit it out of the park with great Best Yet products from your neighborhood SureSave stores. Like party platters with 1893 deli items, team up Best Yet hot dogs with Best Yet kettle cooked chips. And get Best Yet 12 packs of soda and Best Yet rising crust pizzas at Sobel's Markets in Shrewsbury, Stewartstown, Whiteford, and East York. And at Nell's Market Fresh Foods in Spry. Wealth is the ability to feed 100 stray dogs. Turn empty parking lots into playgrounds. Watch your child walk down the aisle. As Henry David Thoreau once said, wealth is the ability to fully experience life. At Smith, Mayor and Little Wealth Advisory Group, we help our clients identify their ambitions, dreams, and financial goals and develop actionable plans to pursue their passions and interests. Let our wealth of knowledge about wealth help you fully experience life. Visit us at wealthofknowledgeyork.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSC, FINRA, and SIPC. This is Jay Goss. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Revs. Spurt Radio 1350, WYK. First in York, first in sports. No score. Robert Carson set to go to work here in the second inning. Jovan Rosa leads things off. First pitch is swung on and miss. Rosa up hacking. Comes in tonight hitting 260. Hit his fifth home run last night. 21 driven in in 34 games back from Mexico. 0-1. It is foul tipped back to the netting. In Mexico this year with Paratis de Campeche. He hit 277, eight home runs. 35 driven in in 66 games. It's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. He got him with a high fastball. Robert Carson, his first strikeout of the night. And one away here in the bottom of the second. Rosa, who first two years of New Britain's franchise, literally played all but one game. Still got a good number of games under his belt this year with the time in Mexico. He'll have pretty much a full season of work put in. Here's Jamar Walton who shows bunt and does attempt the bunt, but foul. Bunts it hard down toward the third base coach's box. Figueroa into glove it. Walton who last night homered in the eighth, went two for four. Adding 287, 12 home runs, three of those against York. And he has been hot. The 0-1, breaking ball just outside. He's hit in the high 300s his last 11. Bees have pretty good batting numbers at home. Talking about this last night. The 
1 1. And a breaking ball down and away. Appeal to third. He held. He has hit eight of his 12 at home. And remember a couple of years ago coming here thinking that it didn't carry at all and that it would be a great pitcher's part. But it's evened out. It's the 2 1. And it's fouled back. Got to play. It might be personnel. It might be the weather. It might be coincidence. Hitting is up a little bit in this league as it is in the major leagues anyway. Carson with the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Slider down and away as Walton fans on it and Tejeda follows him about halfway toward the dugout before planting the tag on his back. Two down. As Carson got Walton to chase back-to-back -back strikeouts. And here is Jonathan Galvez. He last night pretty much provided the game winner. Go ahead, two-run homer in the sixth inning last night. Two for four. He has hit all eight of his home runs at home. First pitch is over for a strike. Breaking ball to start him off. Galvez, another hot hitter, well over 400 his last 11. Overall, 285. Pitt, swing and a foul back against the netting. He was briefly a teammate of Carson's with Bridgeport a couple of years ago. The 0-2, swing and a bounce foul down to the third base coach, Miguel Gomez. Carson, two years ago, made three outings with Bridgeport after leaving Mexico, then traded to Southern Maryland, spent most of the year there, then all of last year. He deals, that misses high, one and two. Mostly in relief with Southern Maryland as ERA was in the mid threes both years. Did make a combined three starts those two years. Pitch is swung on and missed. He strikes out the side. Robert Carson gets Galvez on a slider down and in. He can use that as an out pitch against righties and lefties. And he whiffs the side in order in the second inning. Held his hand up as he marched off toward the dugout. We'll go to the third tonight. Rebs and Bees scoreless in Connecticut. Sports injury? Walk into Wellspan Urgent Orthopedics for immediate care. No appointment is ever needed. Our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists are here to treat you. Visit wellspan.org forward slash urgent orthopedics today for hours at our York and Hanover locations. Getting pumped for another year of high school football? All this month, Sports Radio 1350 WOIK lays it all out for you in the High School Football Spotlight, presented by Wellspan Sports Medicine. Catch a preview every day in August on Sports Radio 1350 as we break down the teams and the players of the 2018 York Adams League. Or go to WOIK1350.com to access this year's complete lineup of high school football preview. Then, this fall, every Friday night, it's the High School Football Game of the Week, presented by Wellspan Sports Medicine, only here on Sports Radio 1350. Listen live, on demand, and on the go. Download the new WOYK app on the Apple and Google Play stores today. Since 1934, PSECU has given Pennsylvanians financial opportunities to live a better life. We are a credit union who offers valuable free and low-fee financial products, broad lending options, and outstanding money management for financing life. At PSECU, we are proud of who we are and committed to who we serve because our Pennsylvania roots run deep. We are banking on a difference. Visit PSECU.com to join us. This credit union is federally insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Equal Opportunity Lender. You're on the home of the Atlantic League champion, York Revolution. Sports Radio 1350 WOYK, York.
Head to the third, no score. Henry Castillo will lead it off for the Revs. He's in there at short tonight. First pitch from Simon is swung on and missed. As Ryan Dent gets a night off this evening. Castillo swinging a pretty good bat, hitting 247 now. Did have a hit in last night's game. Here's the 0 1. And he swings, taps a foul over toward the first base dugout. Castillo, Figueroa, and Harris here in the third inning. Each team with one hit. Simon kicks, fires, and a backdoor slider just missed. He retired the side in order on ground balls last inning. Carson did the same, but got his three outs all on strikeouts. One, two, swing and a miss, fastball away. And Simon fans Castillo to begin the third. That is his second strikeout. Revs baseball brought to you by Wolf's Bus Lines, the official transportation provider of the Revs. Wise Markets, York Water Company, and Twin Pine Country Farm Stores. Here is Steven Figueroa, who in three games played is five for 12. First pitch is a two-seamer over for a strike. On the inner part of the plate. Figueroa, New York City product. Pitch is down and in, he jumps back. Now we went by that general area, but not too close to the city the other day. Here's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Played his college ball at Cortland State. SUNY Cortland. And the next one misses in the dirt as he jumps back. Two and two. He is certainly impressed with the bat in the early going. He's been putting in a lot of pregame work with the glove, trying to get comfortable that part of his game. Here's the 2-2. And a swing and a line drive to center. Base hit. And Figueroa races to first. Takes his turn. He's on with a one-out single. He is 6 for 13 to begin his Atlantic League career. Now a one-out base runner. Revs with their second hit of the night. And he has hit safely in three of his first four games. Has his sixth hit with York already. Here's Harris at the top. And a throw over quickly. Figueroa does have one stolen base. Pitch to Harris is down and away, and Wagner makes the pick. On a ball in the dirt and well outside, and he had his glove turned frontward rather than backhanding it, which made it tougher, but he got the job done. Simon retired Harris on a ground ball back to the mound his first time, and there goes Figueroa, fake bunt, strike called, throw to second, it is right on the money. And Galvez, the second baseman, puts the tag on Figueroa. It seemed like, timing-wise, he got a quick first step, but it looked like his cleats almost were sliding in the dirt trying to get going. Here's a breaking ball down and away, two and one. But it was also a perfect laser thrown by Wagner. Pitch to Harris is ripped right into the glove of Romero at third, and the inning is over. A BB hit by Zoe, but right to Romero at third. He catches it off to his left-hand side. And the side retired in order, despite the Figueroa single, he was caught stealing. We'll go to the bottom half of the third tonight. Revs and Bees scoreless. Rudders has all your favorite seafood options. Tavern battered cod sandwich, crispy fried shrimp with bada bing dipping sauce, flavorful crab and corn chowder, just to name a few. Rudders Seafood, one try and you'll be hooked. 
Rudders. Why go anywhere else for seafood? Will I have saved enough for college by the time she gets her driver's license? How can I ensure beautiful music is always made on the symphony stage? When I retire, can I take that vacation I always dreamed about? When life's persistent questions have you seeking answers, turn to Smith, Mayer, and Little Wealth Advisory Group. Let our wealth of knowledge about wealth help turn life's questions into financial plans of action and memorable outcomes. Smith, Mayer, and Little, answering life's most persistent questions. Visit us at wealthofknowledgeyork.com. Danny Montgomery Scott, LLC. Member NYSC, FINRA, and SIPC. Show your patriotism and rev spirit with the new York Revolution Hat Pack. Get six undated ticket vouchers to use any way you'd like and two parking passes, plus an exclusive Revolution hat featuring the Revs logo in red, white, and blue. It's an exclusive design from York's own Legacy Athletic and one you can only get through this special offer. The Revs Hat Pack, six game ticket vouchers, two parking passes, and an exclusive Revolution baseball cap, all for just $75. Get yours while supplies last at YorkRevolution.com or 717-801-HITS. Rudder's Hot Dog Extravaganza is here. Rudder's Kunzler Hot Dogs and brand new corn dogs are only two for two dollars. Our amazing Kunzler bacon wrapped cheddar dogs and sausages are only two for four dollars. Earn two cents on fuel for every deal purchase. Must scan rewards card. Rudder's, why go anywhere else? This is Michael Click. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball, home of the Revs, Sports Radio, 1350 WYK. First in York, first in sport. Robert Carson's first pitch is yanked foul off the bleacher seats in left by Ryan Wagner. Strike one to begin the home third. No score here in the early going tonight. And Carson with the pitch. It is just outside and high. Wagner hitting 235 with a home run, seven driven in. 25 games played as Skelton's back up. 1-1, and it's down low. Skelton was playing other positions mid-year when Josh Tully was here as the everyday catcher. Wagner, a third-year pro. Carson, the 2-1. Swing and a fly ball. Shallow right. And actually barely out of the infield, it's Casilla from second who's out in shallow right. He makes the grab. One down here in the bottom of the third. On our Wellspan Sports Medicine Injury Report tonight, we should mention the pitchers who left with biceps tendonitis as well. Both Junior Rincon and Jonathan Sanchez. Not listed on the DL, but they did leave for those reasons. Tyler Clark on the DL to let that finger fully heal. Luis Cruz on the DL with the hamate bone removal. Here's Vicente Conde. First pitch, breaking ball, just missed. Carson asking where. Looked pretty good. And of course, Frank DiGiulio Jr. and Jay Goss with the their respective elbow situations. Now the 1-0, fastball, there's a strike on the outer edge. Conde last night hit his second home run, both against York. He's hitting 165, two homers, 17 driven in. Last night, two for four and drove in three, including a two-run homer. And he swings here, serves one over, second Alexi out, but that's going to find grass. In between Casilla going out, Harris coming in, and Harris fired to first, trying to catch him napping, and it's skipped by Nash to the first base, dug out. And up to second goes Conde, a throw that did not need to be made. And it takes away a double play possibility, a throwing error on Harris in center, who tried to do too much. He knows his talent. And he will take some chances. He's very confident. He'll try to make plays that others don't. That time, though, it backfired. Picked it up in shallow right center after the blue pit and kind of on the run, he chucked it toward first, trying to catch Conde by surprise. And he's now at second. Here's Ford at the top of the order. He swings. 
sprays a foul the other way off the bleacher seats in right, strike one. Darren Ford retired on a great play by Malky Mesa in the first inning, going back in front of the wall on a line drive to deep left to start the night. Now the 0-1 and a swing and a miss. Fastball. And that air charge to Harris, the Revs' first in this series. Played airless ball the last two nights. No score here in the third. Carson trying to keep it that way. Conde is the first runner to reach second for either team tonight. And Rob is set. A look back twice at second, the 0-2. Fastball just missed away. Tejeda held it there, trying to set the frame. And now as Carson comes set, Ford asks for time. One and two the count. Runner at second with one out. Alexi toward the middle, keeping Conde honest at second. And now Carson to the plate, swinging a ground ball, deep short. Castillo backhands, throw to third. Figueroa reaches down for the tag, and Conde out. Going in head first, trying to advance to third, and the ball hit in front of him. And it would have been a really tough play to go to first for Castillo with Ford running. And Henry going to the backhand. He absolutely made the right play. It was right there in front of him. And a big lead out for the second out of the inning. So that erases that advancement on the air. Erases Conde completely. Ford is on in the fielder's choice. He is a threat to steal. 32 stolen bases this year. But that'll back up the runner to first with two outs. And here's Angelo Sonko. As Carson tries to keep things scoreless here early tonight. And the first pitch swing, and he pops it up. Foul, though, and this will head back out of play. Sonko, a bloop base hit, his first at bat. It is dusk here in New Britain tonight already. Here's the 0-1. And a slider just missed, up and away. That is certainly Carson's at least his number two pitch behind the fastball. He will use the slider to get ahead with strikes and get guys out chasing. 1-1. One, one. It misses low. And he'll do it to both righties and lefties. Stretch and the pitch. Check swing. Appeal toward. Oh, no, not an appeal. I thought J.B. Torres was pointing for help. He makes the call himself. He was pointing at Sonko to say he went. And it is two and two. A check swing strike. Now Carson trying to match Simon with three zeros to start the evening. He's ready. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And a swing and a shot the other way toward the corner and left. Mesa on the move and it lands foul. He was at full tilt trying to chase that ball down. It looked like it had a chance to land along the line, which would have been a lot of trouble. And it kept fading away from Mesa, who was in pursuit. And it lands foul by a good 5 to 10 feet. Two and two it remains. Ford has three and two. Carson ready. 
And the pitch, it's down and away. Breaking ball miss. Now it's three and two. And Ford will have the head start. Tejeda lets everybody know that. With his speed, anything in a gap could be an issue. Here's the payoff pitch. Just missed, down and away. Carson jogging and hopping off the mound. He wanted that one badly. And it's going to end up being his first walk of the night instead. Inning continues, first and second. And he will now have to face the number three hitter, Davidson Romero. Trying to keep it scoreless here early. Romero a fly out to center his first time up. Carson ready to go. And Ford breaks for third. First pitch outside. Tejeda's throw is a little late, and it bounced off Figueroa up around his cap. It's a steal of third for Ford, his 33rd steal of the year. And Tejeda got off a pretty strong throw, but late with a good jump from Ford. Sonko stayed at first. And Figueroa trying to get as quick of a tag down as he could. It, at first glance, it looked like it hit him in the face, but he seems to be just fine. He actually reached up toward his cap to adjust it. So now first and third. Tejeda just gave signs for the infield. The 1-0. And a bouncer foul down at the end of the third base dugout. Our York Mitsubishi out of town scoreboard. Lancaster a 2 0 lead at Long Island in the second inning. Road Warriors and Somerset scoreless in the first. Southern Maryland at Sugarland coming up in a little less than an hour in Texas. Carson with the pitch. Swing and it's grounded foul into the Revs dugout and it bounces back out. And I think it glanced off Polo's shoulder on the way by. He has been a marked man this week. Southern Maryland only at Sugarland for one of the short series this week. I think it was, yeah, it was only three. The one two and a swing and a high fly. Shallow right near the line. Mitchell hustles in. Casilla is over into foul ground, and it's Alexi who snatches it across into foul territory, and that ends the inning. And nobody scores. No runs. One hit, one air. Runners left at the corners. We'll go to the fourth. It's still scoreless here tonight in New Britain. Tired of hearing that music, especially when you already have that same ice cream in your freezer? Try something new and amazing with Tropical Shaved Ice. On Monday morning after the big company event, do you want the buzz down the hall to be, how awesome was this year's company picnic? Then crush boredom and bring on Kona Ice with over 32,000 flavor combinations. This is not your typical lackluster snow cone. Their flavors are bold and delicious. Fuzzy Navel, Margarita, Blue Hawaiian. Kona Ice is dairy-free, gluten-free, and they even offer flavors that are sugar and die free no party is too big or too small they can serve up to a thousand people per hour they have party packages starting as low as a hundred dollars to add more excitement to your next event find them online at donegal we understand there are many costs associated with running a business that's why donegal works with you to provide quality insurance products based on your business needs and why we deliver that insurance at a price to fit your budget call your local independent donegal agent today and discover why when it comes to insurance for your business donegal is a better value contact Coatman kunkel insurance at 717-854-0300 or stop in at 3217 east market street york locally owned and operated by pam and rudy Coatman. Coatman kunkel 
Local Insurance. Local sports on WOYK are brought to you by Maple Donuts, a family tradition since 1946. This is Logan Williamson. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Rev Sports Radio, 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Head of the fourth, it's a scoreless game here tonight from New Britain. Alexi Casilla will lead things off, each team with two hits. And Alexi shows bunt, takes a little bit wide for ball one. Draws Romero into the grass at third base. Now the 1-0 from Simon, and that's inside. Casilla with one of the Revs' two hits, a ground single up the middle his first time up. And the next one is in for a strike. We mentioned Simon, fourth in the league in innings coming in. 124 and two-thirds. Ground ball pitcher does give up a lot of hits. He deals and a swing and a miss. Breaking ball there. Two and two. 145 hits. Opponents hitting 295, but only 24 walks in 21 outings. He deals. And it just missed inside, three and two. Good eye from Alexi. Simon goes to the rosin bag, now home. And a ground ball, second base, right to Galvez. Another play for him, he'll throw on to first. And one down here in the fourth. Simon had been really good at home. His first couple of years here. This year, though, just four and five with a 431 ERA. On the road, he's actually gone four and one with a 380 earned run average. Here's Malky Mesa, who flied to right his first time up. First pitch, it is over for a strike. Mesa, a seven-game hitting streak coming in. He's hit safely in 20 of his last 23. Pitch is off the plate away. He was out on one pitch his first time up. But entering the night, hitting 327, that's fifth. One point behind Alexi, who's fourth. Pitch is just outside, two and one. His 17 home runs are fourth. Really, he's got 18, which would be tied for third. And he's two off the lead in RBIs as he lays off low and away, three and one. 73 for the year. Two behind Blake Galen. Three, one. Swing a high fly, left field. Rosa starts in, now pedals back. And he'll stop a step shy of the track and make the grab. Mesa just missed on a high fly to deep left, perhaps got under it. Two down in the inning. He had a feeling with Nash on deck and a 3-1 count, he might get one to barrel up, and he just missed. They're two down, here's Nash. He struck out on a foul tip, swinging his first time. No score in the fourth. And Simon, a long look to Ryan Wagner. He finally has it. First pitch to Nash is down and away, a slider. One ball, no strikes. And he deals, slider away, and it is ball two. The last time the Revs faced Simon was in York earlier this month. Pitch is swung on, hit high in the air, right field, not deep. It's Walton coming in. He is under it and makes the grab. It's a one, two, three, fourth. There's Simon. Still just two base runners through four innings, couple of singles, and he goes one, two, three in the fourth. We go to the bottom half of inning number four. Rebs nothing, bees nothing.
Shipley Energy is more than just an energy company. We're a family tradition. Our goal is to provide outstanding customer service and to make energy easy for you. From heating oil and propane to natural gas and electricity, our team can help. We also offer HVAC services, installation, maintenance, and service plans to keep your home safe and comfortable. In addition, our team can improve the quality of water in your home. To learn more, visit ShipleyEnergy.com or call 855-5-SHIPLEY. We make energy easy. Hi, this is Steve Navaroli. Join me Saturday mornings at 9 for Central PA Game Day presented by Neighborhood Sure Save Markets right here on Sports Radio 1350 WIK. Tune in each week as we break down the latest in high school sports including Friday night's big games, the week's top performers, and the rest of the sports scene both locally and nationally. Central PA Game Day presented by Neighborhood Sure Save Markets Saturdays at 9 on Sports Radio 1350 WIK. First in York, first in sports. You trust AAA to work at every mile. But AAA doesn't just cover your car. They can also cover your home. AAA Home Insurance protects every square foot. And when you add AAA Home Insurance to AAA Auto Insurance, you get more protection and more savings. Insurance that's not just insurance. Talk to your local AAA insurance agent today or visit AAA.com to learn more about AAA Home Insurance. This is Paul Fletcher. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball in the home of the Revs. Sports Radio 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Nice score, bottom of the fourth. Robert Carson will face the middle third of the New Britain lineup. Jason Rogers to start it off. Hit into a fielder's choice at shortstop his first time tonight. And Carson's first pitch, a swing and a miss. Rogers, who holds the hands low. Has a brightly painted red maple bat. Kind of a charcoal handle, but maroonish red on the barrel. Here's the 0-1. And that's down low. Rogers with big league time. The Brewers 2014 and 15 and the Pirates in 2016. 117 games. 1-1 one, one pitch, swinging a well hit ball deep left center. Alonzo turns going back and he will have room. Makes the grab at the front of the warning track in deep left center. And Rodgers did hit it to one of the deepest parts of the park. And the way that Alonzo turned initially, I was thinking the worst when it left the bat, but he never really gave it away that he was going to make the play either. But then he just stopped, and down it came into his glove. One down here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a couple of deep outs for the Bees. One off a Revs bat as Rosa takes a strike. Top half of this inning, Malky Mesa put in a bid to open the scoring, but it fell short of the track. Pitch to Rosa is nub foul over toward the on-deck area. That one really got in on him, and he fisted a spinner foul. Is a strikeout victim of Carson's his first time up. It is the twilight of the evening here. As Carson kicks and delivers fastball high and away, one and two. No score here in the bottom of the fourth tonight. And the pitch, swinging a fly ball to right. Mitchell's got this one measured. Waits and makes the grab two down. Carson last time was excellent. Seven innings, two runs, an eight to two win against Southern Maryland Saturday night at home. Didn't walk any. Tied a season high in innings for the third time this year.
right now, Walton, who struck out his first time. Pitch to the lefty, a swing and a miss. High fastball. Tejeda started to stand up. And you know, if he kind of saw that one awkwardly. But he made the grab as Walton hacked through it. Now the 0-1, swing and a miss, a slider. Carson had faced the Bees three times in relief. This is his second start. He did lose at home 4-3 to three to them. A couple of starts back, seven innings, four runs. He deals, and that's way high as Tejeda had to stand for it. A little snow cone grab. Matt Tuiasasopo did most of the damage in that start. He has since left. The one-two, and a liner served up the middle. Castillo cuts it off in shallow center, spins and makes the throw. What a play to end the inning, and it's another one-two-three for Carson, who points to his shortstop, who made a fantastic play. Walton serving one on a hop behind second, and Castillo cut it off, ranging way to his left, and going out into shallow center where he spun and made the throw. One, two, three, fourth will go to the fifth tonight. No score here at New Britain. Have you heard? Royal Farms has gotten the national culinary recognition it deserves. <laughs> yeah, in Food & Wine Magazine's article, 10 gas station foods across the country that are worth the detour, they put Royal Farms' world-famous chicken at the top of the list. Well, we've always known that Royal Farms has the best fried chicken, but now the whole world knows. So hurry into a Royal Farms to pick up some of their nationally recognized world-famous chicken before the world beats a path to their door. Royal Farms, real fresh, real fast. If you own a tractor-trailer business, then you know the cost of having your rig down instead of on the road. Rivers Truck Center in Red Lion keeps your trucks on the road by providing a one-stop shop for all your trucking needs. Rivers handles full-service truck sales and carries a full line of parts for all makes and models, has their own full-service collision center, and provides 24-hour emergency towing and roadside assistance. Check out riverstruck.com for more info. There's a reason Rivers Truck Center has been in business for over 40 years. They really do care. It is easy being green. In York County, trash is safely managed at a waste-to-energy facility where it is used as fuel to produce electricity. The electricity generated from trash is enough to power 20,000 homes. That's enough to light the entire city of York. Learn more at www.ycswa.com. Garbage is power. This is Ryan Dent. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Revs. Sports Radio 1350. W-O-Y-K, first in York, first in sports. Nice score as this game heads to the fifth. Isaias Tejeda will lead things off. Each team with two base hits. Both pitchers went one, two, three in the fourth. And in the second. And each team has a hit in the first and a hit in the third. Very similar so far tonight. First pitch to Tejeda is a little bit high. Rounded out to second his first time. He came in tonight hitting 321 in eight games. Pitch, it is a breaking ball strike. He is one for eight since coming back. He had a hit last night and a walk. Now the 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball, there's a strike. It'll be Tejeda, Mitchell, and Burgess this inning. Tejeda step back in. Here's the one two. And he swings, pops it up foul. That'll come back out of play. Simon was a reliever with Lancaster three years ago. And landed with New Britain in 2016. He has started for them for three years. He fires, swing and a miss. Fastball in, gets Tejeda swinging. Third strikeout of the night for Simon. And one away here in the fifth. He's been one of the better starters in the league. 
His last time out, no decision at Sugarland. Seven innings, one run on just three hits. Skeeters one in ten innings, two to one. First pitch to Mitchell. It is swung on, foul tipped at the plate. Against the Revs this year, Simon 2-1 with a 4-21 ERA and four starts. And coming in, just three walks, 23 Ks. Tonight, no walks, three strikeouts. Now he winds and delivers. Swinging a fly ball the other way and left. Rosa backs up, hit fairly deep, but he will make the grab. And that is out number two. Another ball hit pretty well to left, but so far they've been dying tonight. Simon, a fourth round pick of the Orioles back in 2001. He made it as high as the AAA level. Or 2011, I beg your pardon. He is only 31, not 41. <laughs> Here's Burgess. He grounded the first, his first time up. And Simon delivers a strike. And he was traded to the Phillies in 2012 as a minor leaguer deal that sent Hall of Famer Jim Tomey to Baltimore. As Burgess starts and stops, pitch ran away. One ball, one strike. The next one, swinging a bounce foul into the, well, actually off the roof of the first base dug out. It ricochets in and out of the stands. Rev's last face, Simon, August 6th. They had four in the first against him, three in the seventh, but he retired almost everybody in between those two big innings, and he won the game 9-8. to eight. Here's the one-two, swinging a foul tip. Just got a piece as that'll go to the backstop. No score, top five tonight. Fun to watch these two pitchers work here through the early stages of this one. Burgess digs back in. And another one-two, swinging a bouncer down toward first. That's foul. Sandy coaching at first to let it go by. Rebs heading back home tonight. The Bees will host Somerset this weekend. They stay here, week-long homestand. Another one-two, and another foul chopped into the seats behind the first base dugout. And it careens off a couple of chairs and right down the tunnel to the concourse area. A couple of kids will chase after it. Lancaster wrapping up that series at Long Island tonight. They will be flying to Sugarland to open up a visit there tomorrow. Another one-two. And a pop-up, another foul. Will it stay in play? Wagner back toward the Revs on deck, Gary, and he's got just enough room. Castillo gets out of the way, and right against the backstop, Wagner reaches up, leaning toward the net, and had maybe a foot or a foot and a half to spare before his glove would have made contact with that net. It's a one, two, three, fifth inning, and seven in a row for Simon. We'll go to the home half of the fifth inning, still scoreless. Hey, it's the good-looking genius at Broadway Transmission. You know what really grinds my gears? Perfectly good cars being thrown away just because the transmission went bad. My mind slips into overdrive when someone says, I'll just get a new car before I spend that kind of money on a transmission. What? According to Kelly Blue Book, the average price of a new car is 32 grand. Now you're going to finance that, right? There's another six to eight grand. And if you drive it off the showroom floor, it loses 20% of its value immediately. Don't forget, you also have to pay sales tax, higher insurance rates, title and registration fees, and come up with six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800 a month depending on your interest rates. 
for five years. And remember, you will still have to pay for the upkeep of the car. Brakes, tires, wipers, fluids, etc. Stop! Trade your transmission, not your car. Thanks, good-looking genius. You're welcome, ma'am. Broadway Transmission. We'll get your shift together and save you all that dough. Visit us on the web at broadwaytrans.com or stop in and see how it's done. So, John, what should the Steelers' focus be this season? Steelers' fast play, for sure. As opposed to what? I'm talking Steelers' fast play tickets from the Pennsylvania Lottery. Playing's faster than our wide receiver running a slant. Faster than our defense blitzing the QB? Oh, yeah. The game's got progressive top prizes, plus second chance drawings for Steelers game tickets, meet and greets, autographed merchandise, and more. Wow. I'm going to get mine fast. Fast play. Play fast, win instantly. Players must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. Benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. This is Chang Choi, athletic trainer of the York Revolution. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Labs. Sports Radio 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. <laughs> Jonathan Galvez, a first pitch foul tip back into the netting as we begin the bottom half of the fifth tonight. No score. Galvez, a strikeout his first time up. Carson the pitch. It is a check swing, a little low, appeal to first base, and Galvez held 7-8-9 due for the Bs this inning as nightfall sets in. Carson with the delivery. Swinging a foul tip into the mitt of Tejeda. And good movement away on that two-seamer, one and two. Now he kicks, fires, and a swing and a drive down the line and left, but this one will land foul in their picnic area. A little bit shy of the corner. Still clearly see the tree line around the outfield, but nightfall approaching. Carson fires, swinging it sliced the other way. This will be fouled down the line and right. And Galvez has hit one foul to either direction. And it stays one and two, leading off the inning. Is taking a moment to adjust the batting gloves. Another one, two, and that one misses inside a slider. Well, from the stretch, Carson, he will step off, rethinking this one. Mentioned earlier, Galvez, briefly a teammate of his in Bridgeport a couple of years ago. He was one of their top hitters. Pitch is lined to left, right at Mesa, though, and back a couple steps. He'll squeeze. Galvez with a hard line shot to left, but Carson gets an atom ball. And one down here in the fifth. Revs fans stop in and visit. Famous Hot Wiener's newest location after the game at the BJ's Target Complex in West Manchester. You can also visit us at our two Hanover locations, one in the north end of town at 160 Dart Drive or downtown at 101 Broadway. Go Revs. Here is Ryan Wagner. First pitch to the B's catcher. He swings and misses on a breaking ball. Wagner a pop-up to second his first time up. Here's the 0-1, and that misses up high. Wagner this year played in 16 games for the Chicago Salt Dogs as Carson misses high, 2-1. and one. Butch Hobson's Expansion American Association franchise. Actually, I think it's just the dogs. But at any rate, the 2 1, swing and a miss, a slider. And he batted 298 there, but the Bees acquired him for a player to be named later.
Carson with the 2-2. Two -two. And a swing and a nubber down to third. Figueroa has to charge. He gloves. He fires on the run. Nash has to come off, but he puts on the tag. Beautifully done at first base. Two down in the inning. And Nash, he is, for being the big fella, he is so quick and nimble defensively. Hopped off the bag. Great footwork. As he handled that hot throw from the other side of the infield, slapped the tag on Wagner running by. And Figueroa, the throw a little bit off, but charging in, gloving it, getting rid of it. Nicely done on his end as well. Two down in the fifth. Here is Vicente Conde, who singled his first time. Carson the pitch. It's a fastball strike. No score here in the bottom of the fifth tonight. A lot of runs the first two games in this series. Here's the 0-1. And a slider misses low. Conde, former ninth round pick of the Yankees out of Vanderbilt four years ago. Entire previous career in New York system reaching AAA. 1-1. Swing and he lines one off the end of the bat. That'll get down in left field toward the line. A base hit. But it'll get the job done for him. He is two for two out of the nine spot tonight. After going two for four with a homer and driving in three in last night's game. The Bees with their third hit compared to York's two. Now we'll go to the top of the order and Darren Ford who's lined out to deep left and hit into a fielder's choice at short. Also has a stolen base tonight, stole third, back in the third. As Carson, a snap throw before he even came set. Conde was ready for it. He's diving back in. Conde did also steal a base last night, his fifth in five tries. Lefty on the mound there tonight. And the pitch from Carson, a foul back off the net. And Rob, who got yet another pickoff or caught stealing in his last start, he's got six, which is among the highest totals in a single season in Rev's history, or in a career for that matter. Now move to first again as Conde dives in. And is the most in a season by a Revs pitcher since 2012 when Ryan Fearben set the team record with 11. Hazy Sanchez had eight in 2010, then Carson this year with six. He's third. Runner goes, pitch coming home, a swing and a foul tip into the mid of Tejeda. And no throw made. After all that, Conde steals second. That's one where Tejeda wishes the foul tip would have bounced out of his mitt. But it's a steal of second. He's in scoring position. 0-2 on the hitter. Carson surpassed Logan Williamson, who had five pickoffs three years ago for third most in a season in Rev's history. Now he stares in. Look back at second twice. Castillo cuts in from behind at short. Carson will turn and step off. And they just called him for a balk. And he wants to know where that call came from. I don't know if he did an extra tap on the step off into the spin. That must have been what it was. So now Conde, all of a sudden, a two-out single. He's awarded third base on the balk after stealing second. And Carson trying to keep it scoreless with that runner 90 feet away. He's ready. And the 0-2 to Ford, it is high and away, a fastball missing. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh,
job, a long stare in. He's got his sign from Tejeda. Here's the one-two. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Got him on a high fastball and he leaves Conde at third to end the inning. He has stranded two runners at third base tonight, four runners total, and he ends the inning with his fourth K of the game. It comes in a big spot. No runs, one hit, one left. We'll go to the sixth tonight, still scoreless. You know, something funny happens when people buy their dream home. They can both look at the same thing and see it in an entirely different way. He sees a man cave. <laughs> while she sees an art room. Hi, my name is Ryan Scott with J.G. Wentworth Home Lending, and this has become a common theme from our happy customers. With our competitive rates, quick process, and close on time guarantee, why would you choose another mortgage company to finance your dreams? Call us today at 855-JGW-LENDS so we can get you on your path towards home ownership. J.G. Wentworth Home Lending will take care of all the details of purchasing your home so you can focus on what to do once you move in. You know, will that great backyard be a beautiful garden? or a beautiful new pool. Yeah, that's one detail we'll leave up to you. Call 855-JGW-LEND today. Mortgage loans offered by JG Wentworth Home Lending, LLC. 3550 Commission Court, Woodbridge, Virginia. And MLS ID 2925. And MLSconsumeraccess.org. Equal housing lender. When you work with an independent insurance agent, you put the power of choice to work for you. Independent agents know several companies and their coverages, which means more options. And because companies like Donegal Insurance Group use the independent agent system, you not only get quality insurance, you also save money. The independent insurance agent system. Discover the power of choice. Contact Coatman Kunkel Insurance at 717-854-0300 or stop in at 3217 East Market Street, York. Locally owned and operated by Pam and Rudy Kochman. Kochman Kunkel Insurance. Listen live, on demand, and on the go. Download the new WOYK app on the Apple and Google Play stores today. Henry Castillo leading off the sixth inning. He jumps on the first pitch from Simon and ropes a single to right. Sharply struck, and the Revs with their third hit of the night. It's the first time in this game that the leadoff man has reached. And that goes for either team. So a leadoff single to start the sixth in a scoreless game, and he jumped on it. Now here's Steven Figueroa who singled his first time up. First pitch, he swings, drives one to right field. Walton back, it carries over his head. And Castillo at third, Polo's gonna send him. Relay to the plate, and he slides across. Got it with the hand, throw to third, and Figueroa's in there, clapping his hands together. It's a one nothing Revs lead. They have struck first tonight. As Figueroa jolts a line shot to deep right. And it'll probably be an RBI double, third on the throw, but he's two for two. And seven for 14 to begin his Revs career. So in a matter of just a couple of pitches, the Revs have scored the game's first run. And are set up to make it 2-0. The Bees will bring the infield all the way in at the corners, most of the way in in the middle. And here's Alonzo. First pitch is up and in, a slider. Really, it looks like they're all in, except Galvez, who's maybe two steps off the edge of the grass at second. The 1-0. And a swing and a fly ball to right field. Walton will go toward the line. Figueroa tags up. Catch is made. Here he comes. Throw to the plate. Up the line. He scores standing. And Zoe with a sack fly. He quickly gets the job done. And just like that, the Revs with a 2-0 lead. A first pitch single. An RBI double. Third on the throw. And Alonzo Harris on the second pitch. He sees a sack fly toward the line in right. 
Oh, a couple of key hits, and a sack fly makes it 2-0 in the sixth, and here's Alexi who takes a first pitch strike. The way the first five innings were going, you were wondering if, not when. Here's a ground ball to first. Rogers backhands, flips to Simon covering, and that's out number two. But the game has been about the starting pitchers here through the first five. Now the Revs have drawn first blood on offense tonight. And here is Malky Mesa, who's flied out twice. Last time up, he hit it deep to left, but not deep enough. He looks at a strike here. Nothing and one the count. Well, the Rev is seeing Simon a second and now third time through. Here's a ball low. Mesa is taking a run at the Rev's all-time single month RBI record. Pitch to him, he swings, chased one in the dirt, one and two. And it enters today with 29 in 26 games played this month. One shy of matching the Revs August record, three shy of matching the team record for any month. And it is the most that a Revs hitter has had in any month since Andres Perez put up the same total in August of 2015. Now the 1-2, and it's down and away. Mesa still with this game and tomorrow night remaining before the calendar flips to September. Grabs a 2-0 lead here in the sixth. Here's the wine from Simon, the 2-2. And a swing and a bouncing ball to third. Romero charges. What a pick on a high hop, and he fires to first to end the inning. What a fabulous play at third base. Romero charging on a high bounce, and with Mesa, who runs pretty well, he couldn't wait back. He had the charge, which meant kind of an in-between hop coming up high, but he handles it cleanly. Two runs score, though. Two hits. Nobody left. Now we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, the Revs with a 2-0 lead. As you clean it out, keep in mind Community Aid's looking for your lucky leftovers. After you wrap up your yard sale, donate what's left over at your closest Community Aid drive-up donation center. They're attached to each of Community Aid's incredible thrift stores in our area. Hanover, Harrisburg, Lancaster, Mechanicsburg, and Seals Grove. Community Aid wants your lucky leftovers to help more than 750 local charities. Learn more at communityaid.net. But don't forget, give your lucky leftovers to Community Aid. Neighbors helping neighbors. Show your patriotism and rev spirit with the new York Revolution Hat Pack. Get six undated ticket vouchers to use any way you'd like and two parking passes plus an exclusive Revolution hat featuring the Revs logo in red, white, and blue. It's an exclusive design from York's own Legacy Athletic and one you can only get through this special offer. The Revs Hat Pack. Six game ticket vouchers, two parking passes, and an exclusive Revolution baseball cap all for just $75. Get yours while supplies last at YorkRevolution.com or 717-801-HITS. Sports injury? Walk into Wellspan Urgent Orthopedics for immediate care. No appointment is ever needed. Our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists are here to treat you. Visit wellspan.org forward slash urgent orthopedics today for hours at our York and Hanover locations. Hey, this is Jacoby Jones, Super Bowl champ, dancing with the stars. If y'all didn't vote for me, it's y'all fault I lost, but you're listening to the radio. W-O-Y-K, 1350, baby. 2-0, the lead for Robert Carson as we go to the bottom of the six. Sonko swings first pitch, hits one high and deep in center. Alonzo going back, runs it down, had it all the way. A one pitch out to begin the bottom of the sixth inning. And here in center field at New Britain Stadium, it angles to a bit of a point straight away where the sign reads 400. And Alonzo going back toward that forest green batter's eye just left of that crease. 
where it is, 400, reaches up, runs it down, makes it look easy. And one away on one pitch here in the bottom of the sixth. Right on the middle of the warning track when it hit his glove. Here's Davidson Romero who's 0 for 2 tonight. And first pitch from Carson right there for a strike. Working with the lead for the first time tonight. 2-0 our score here in the bottom of the sixth. And the 0-1 swinging a foul tip back to the netting. Sonko retired for the first time tonight. And Romero up, who's flied to center, fouled out to second. Carson with the pitch, and it's down low, a slider. Rogers will follow. It's the heart of the order here this inning, 2-3-4. Carson looking for a shutdown inning after the Revs broke the scoreless deadlock. Now he's ready. And home with the one two. Swinging a ground ball to third. Figueroa up cleanly. He'll step into the throw right on the bullseye at first. And a ton of work put in during pregame sessions here on this visit with Sandy De Leon and others. And he has handled both ground balls tonight. Two down here in the bottom of the sixth. He looks smooth and confident on that play. He also just delivered our Jimmy John's delivery of the game on his RBI double in the top half of the inning to open the scoring. Here's Rogers, who's 0 for 2. First pitch breaking ball called strike. Jimmy Johns now delivers from three locations in York, 970 Lauks Road, 2058 South Queen Street, and 150 Memory Lane. Jimmy Johns, where fresh and fast meet. Now the 0-1, swinging a bouncing ball to short. Castillo will charge, reaches low to glove it, and on the run, he fires to first. That's right on the money. And a 1-2-3, sixth inning for Robert Carson after the Revs had gone in front. It's 2-0 York as we go to the seventh here tonight at New Britain Stadium. Money and business are essential to the strength of a community. So is cheering and celebration and music and fun. That's why York Revolution games, concerts, youth sports, special events and more happen at a place called People's Bank Park. People's Bank has been serving York County for more than 150 years. Always cheering, always celebrating, always committed to the things that make York County great and to you having a great time at People's Bank Park. People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Planning your next visit to York? Book your stay at Courtyard by Marriott. Conveniently situated near local businesses, shopping, dining, downtown, and local attractions, Courtyard by Marriott features a state-of-the-art lobby, inviting flexible spaces to work or relax, free Wi-Fi, our well-equipped fitness center, and the bistro, offering healthy options and refreshing choices, including Starbucks and an evening bar. Your stay is sure to be more comfortable, productive, and enjoyable than ever before. Courtyard by Marriott, 2799 Concord Road in York. Book your stay at 7 717-840-7840. You'll always hit it out of the park with great best yet products from your neighborhood sure save stores. Like party platters with 1893 deli items. Team up best yet hot dogs with best yet kettle cooked chips. And get best yet 12 packs of soda and best yet rising crust pizzas at Sobel's Markets in Shrewsbury, Stewartstown, Whiteford, and East York and at Nell's Market Fresh Foods in Spry. Hi, this is United States Olympic gold medalist Jenny Finch. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on Sports Radio 1350. W-O-Y-K. First in York, first in sports. Head of the seventh inning and the Revs with a 2-0 lead. Talvin Nash will lead things off. Carson goes one, two, three in the sixth after the Revs took the lead on a Castillo leadoff single, a Figueroa RBI double, 
third in the throw and then promptly scoring on Alonzo Harris's sack fly. It happened very quickly. And Nash to lead things off. Here's Simon's first pitch of the inning high and tight. As Talvin turns away, he is struck out and flied out tonight. Stretch the arms up, waggle the bat, tap the plate as he digs back in. Here's the 1-0. And that runs inside. Nash with his routine, it'll disrupt Simon a little bit, who likes to stay right on the rubber and go, go, go. Earlier this year, Mitchell had to call time to try to slow him down. The 2-0. And a swing and a tip foul on the ground over by the Revs' third base dugout. And in that game, I believe that was early June, Simon started a, a little gamesmanship with Mitchell, and he started waiting and waiting like 15 seconds between pitches. Here's a swing and a towering fly and left. Rosa comes in. The shortstop, Conde, is out. And it's going to be the left fielder, Rosa, calling him off. Running a long ways in to make that grab one away. He was set up deep in left field with the big boy at the plate. Now one down. Here is Tejeda, who's grounded the second and struck out. Grabs with only four hits. Carson has limited New Britain to three, though. Now Simon's first pitch to Tejeda. It's a slider and a called strike. All right, York Mitsubishi out of town scoreboard. Lancaster up 6-1 to one at Long Island in the fourth. Here's the 0-1. Swing a ground ball down to first near the line. Some spin on it. Rogers handles it cleanly, though, in the glove. Right along the line, he'll step to first himself. Two down. Road Warriors and Somerset scoreless in the fourth in Jersey. And Southern Maryland and Sugar Land just underway in the first inning in Texas. Just a quick three-game visit for the Blue Crabs. Lancaster, as we said, goes from Long Island to Sugar Land tomorrow. four-game, three-day series there after doing the same at Long Island. Here's Mitchell. He takes a little low, a change up. We heard all about it last week, about what a rough schedule they have coming up. Here's the 1-0. Swing a rip right side. There's a hit for Mitchell. And he's got the Revs' fifth hit of the night. He spanks a sharp grounder through the right side of the infield. And that'll get Michael Burgess to the plate. Burgess 0 for 2, a ground out to first, a foul out to the catcher. Grabs a 2-0 lead here in the seventh inning tonight. And Simon delivers, first pitch, hits his spot, outside corner for a strike. Our cricket friend is back. Now the 0-1, and Mitchell running, pitch is low, the throw from Wagner, he is in head first, got the hand in. Ahead of the tag from Conde, who had to take it in front of the bag, Mitchell will rebutton his jersey and he steals his 28th and it is his 76th actually 77th all time with York second in Revs history he is within a dozen of Wilson Valdez team record he's in scoring possession 1-1 one, one to Burge that's outside and the shortstop Conde cutting in from behind but Simon threw it home. And now a two and one count. Simon the stretch, he fires, and it's inside missing. There's 28 steals for Mitchell. 
Just outside of the top five. He's two away from Anthony Jansanti of Sugar Land, who ranks fifth. Here's the 3-1, and a swing and a miss. Simon, a pretty good slider there. Didn't give Burgess anything straight to hit in that hitter's count. Now it goes full. And Simon ready. 3-2, and it missed down low. Burgess battles his way on. A two-out single followed by a walk. The first walk from Simon all night. The average is barely more than one walk per start. And now pitching coach Moro Gazzo will head to the mound and chat. It'll be Henry Castillo who ignited the two-run rally in the sixth. The first pitch single that started the inning. He's one for two. And he'll be batting with first and second, two outs. Two runs, five hits, one error for the Ravs tonight. No runs, three hits, no errors for New Britain. And Castillo will make his way to the plate. Mound visit concludes. And a big opportunity here to give Carson and the Revs some breathing room. These last couple of games, last couple wins, they had built big leads. The opponent had made a run, but they had held on. First pitch here, it's down and in. Carson and company will be trying to prevent that tonight, but some insurance would be welcome, I'm sure. The 1-0. Swing and a line drive over short, base hit left center. Mitchell flies around third, he'll score, it's three to nothing. And Henry Castillo with his second big hit in as many innings. He started the rally in the sixth on a shot to right. And he adds an insurance run going the other way to left center here in the seventh. A two-out RBI knock. He's two for three on the night. And the Revs with a three-nothing lead here in the seventh inning. And here's Figueroa. He swings, fouls the first one back. Well, last night it was the bottom of New Britain's order that gave the Revs fits. Tonight, bottom of York's order. Pitch is swung on and missed. A slider. Castillo now two for three, and here's Figueroa in the nine spot, who's two for two with a single and an RBI double tonight. Now he'll step back in, 0-2 the count. Simon the pitch, and a swing and a miss. Got him on a high slider. And the side retired on Simon's fourth K of the night. But the Revs rally after having bases empty, two outs in the inning, and they add one more to their lead. Two hits, two men left. Stretch time here in New Britain. It's the Revs three and the Bees nothing. Rudders has all your favorite seafood options. Tavern battered cod sandwich, crispy fried shrimp with bada bing dipping sauce, flavorful crab and corn chowder, just to name a few. Rudders Seafood. One try and you'll be hooked. Rudders. Why go anywhere else for seafood? Planning your summer vacation? Looking to take care of those long overdue home improvements? Hello, I'm Tara Hauser, Vice President of Marketing at First Capital Federal Credit Union. Make all your dreams come true with a home equity loan from First Capital FCU. For a limited time, take advantage of a seven-year home equity loan of $10,000 or more with an annual percentage rate as low as 3.99%. Visit firstcapitalfcu.com or stop by any branch to apply. First Capital, putting you first. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing lender. First Capital, Federal Credit Union. Columbia Gas of Pennsylvania delivers natural gas to 423,000 customers. Our commitment is to do it reliably, efficiently, and most importantly, safely. If you smell, hear, or see any sign of a natural gas problem, evacuate immediately and call 911 from a safe location. The most obvious indication of a problem in your home would be a rotten egg odor. 
For more information on natural gas safety, visit ColumbiaGasPA.com. Columbia Gas of Pennsylvania reminding you about natural gas safety. Rudder's Hot Dog Extravaganza is here. Rudder's Kunzler Hot Dogs and brand new corn dogs are only two for two dollars. Our amazing Kunzler Bacon Wrapped Cheddar Dogs and Sausages are only two for four dollars. Earn two cents on fuel for every deal purchased. Must scan rewards card. Rudder's, why go anywhere else? You're on the home of the Atlantic League champion, York Revolution. Sports Radio 1350 WOYK, York. Three nothing now. Robert Carson ready to work. First pitch of the inning popped up by Jovan Rosa out into shallow right. It's Casilla near the line, and the Revs second baseman has it out there in front of Mitchell, who was coming in. And Alexi, oh my goodness, I wish, I wish fans could see sometimes the stuff that we'll see pregame. He did the little submarine snap of the wrist throw where he chucks it with all kinds of spins straight up in the air, and it comes down right on the exact spot where he wanted it to go. In this case, the shortstop Castillo to throw it around the horn. He is a wizard. Here's Walton. First pitch fastball just outside. That was close. One out here in the bottom of the seventh. And Carson looking to go seven for the fourth time this year in second straight. He deals. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball. He's got a 3 nothing lead. He's gotten Walton tonight on a strikeout and a ground out. Now the 1-1. Slider misses low. Take a moment as he steps back against the rubber, falling behind Walton. Now the 2 1, and a check swing, breaking ball. It's a called strike and a delayed call at that. Walton puts his hand on his hip, looks back like, Are you kidding me? And he is really mad. He stomps out of the box for a moment. He's flailing his hand as he talks toward JB Torres. He made a late call. And Carson now the 2-2. Fastball a little high. Now it'll go full on Walton. 3-0 the lead for York here in the bottom of the seventh tonight. Carson shakes off once. Now ready. The payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Fastball outside corner. And Carson with his fifth strikeout of the night and Walton jawing at Torres on his way back to the dugout and he points at him Wally Backman comes out to usher him inside two down here in the bottom of the seventh and Carson another big pitch 3-2 and it was perfect on the black and got him to whiff Second time he's struck out Walton tonight, who was none too thrilled. And here's Jonathan Galvez. First pitch is up high. Galvez a strikeout and a line out to left tonight. 1 0. Oh, look out. Man, line shot into the end of the Revs' dugout. Logan Williamson, who thought he had a comfortable seat down there charting, had to get up and vacate. Chong right next to him. Good guy to have on the scene, but he was in harm's way as well. Looks like they're all okay, but they may need some new pants in the, the stands behind them. There's the 1-1. One, one. Swing a foul tip into the mitt of Tejeda, and that might have been a changeup. Galvez was way early. Carson's had them off balance tonight, mostly fastball slider and great location. And now here's the one-two. Fastball high and away. 
trying to go seven scoreless. And Carson said he fires and a swing and a tap foul against the plate. That'll roll foul gently toward that spot at the end of the Revs dugout. Two and two it remains. Carson sets. Kicks and delivers. Breaking ball just missed inside. And now he's upset as he was well into his walk toward the dugout. Torres did everything but come up and make the call. And Carson bent back, rolling his eyes, looking skyward. Absolute disbelief. Three and two. And the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. One, two, three, seventh inning for Robert Carson, who's got six strikeouts on the night. And he goes seven for the fourth time this season, the second straight start. And it's the second time this year that he's gone seven shutout innings. What a gem through seven tonight. We go to the eight. Revs lead it here at New Britain, three to nothing. You'll always hit it out of the park with great best yet products from your neighborhood SureSave stores. Like party platters with 1893 deli items, team up best yet hot dogs with best yet kettle cooked chips and get best yet 12 packs of soda and best yet rising crust pizzas at Sobel's Markets in Shrewsbury, Stewartstown, Whiteford, and East York, and at Nell's Market Fresh Foods in Spry. Facing a legal issue can be a frightening time. What's my course of action? How do I know who to call? Fortunately, the York County Bar Association makes it easy. Now, you only need to make one call to find the right lawyer for you. Call the York County Bar Association and let us help you find the right lawyer with our Attorney Connection Lawyer Referral Service. Just call 854-8755 or visit yorkbar.com. Don't hesitate in getting the help you need. Contact the York County Bar Association and let us help you find the right attorney at the right time. You trust AAA to work at every mile. But AAA doesn't just cover your car. They can also cover your home. AAA Home Insurance protects every square foot. And when you add AAA Home Insurance to AAA Auto Insurance, you get more protection and more savings. Insurance that's not just insurance. Talk to your local AAA insurance agent today or visit AAA.com to learn more about AAA Home Insurance. Hi, this is Mark Mason. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Revs, Sports Radio 1350, W-O-Y-K. Head of, head of the eighth, eighth inning tonight. It is a 3-0 Revs lead. Eighth inning brought to you by York Dental Sleep Therapy. Are you tired of feeling the effects of <laughs> sleep apnea or sleepless nights due to your CPAP? Dr. Bell may have an option to help you. Make your appointment today and let Dr. Bell help determine which treatment is best for your needs. Call 717-316-1299 or visit yorksleep.com. York Dental Sleep Therapy, 450 West Market Street in Hellam. Right-hander Elvin Ramirez takes over for Simon. First pitch of the inning, Harris swings, grounds it toward the middle, it's short. Conde scoops it up, throws to first, and Harris had slipped, leaving the batter's box, so he was unable to make it close the way that he normally probably would. One pitch, one out. Pitching change brought to you by Maple Donuts. Simon went seven. Three runs on six hits, one walk, struck out four. Now here is Casilla. Three nothing the lead for the Revs. Alexi one for three tonight. And Ramirez the pitch, fastball to call it strike. 
Alvin Ramirez, 1-3, 330 ERA in 41 outings. Here's the 0-1, and it misses high and away. Revs, three runs, six hits, one air tonight. New Britain, no runs, three hits, no airs. I did not see Carson on the top step, so he might be coming out for the eighth. Well, the Revs do have activity. Here's a fastball called strike two. One and two, the count on Casilla. Now Ramirez, the former Met, fires home. And a swing and a bouncer toward the middle at second. Galvez cuts it off. Off balance throw and dropped on the one hopper by Rogers at first, in between a hop that he tried to pick. Wouldn't stay in his glove. Galvez, a great effort to his right, up the middle in the backhand and throwing, running away. It's an infield hit though for Casilla. He's two for four tonight. And here's Malky Mesa who's 0 for three. Revs did see Ramirez here two nights ago. Worked an inning, giving up two runs, one earned. He was up with New York the same year Carson made his big league debut. First pitch to Mesa is fouled off. A little late on that fastball. 2012 when both guys made their big league debuts. Carson was up again the following year. Carson had 17 games in 2012, 14 more the next year. Now the 0-1, man, that's down low. Ramirez, 20 career big league outings, all in 2012. 0-1 with a 548 ERA. 1-1 one, one pitch, swing and a miss, slider, snap throw to first, and Alexi diving back to the back corner of the bag. One and two, the count on Mesa. Ryan Wagner, he's displayed a good throwing arm tonight. He came up firing there. He's never been in a big league organization. He's been primarily in the American Association, but Pretty impressed with his throws tonight. Alexi the lead again, the one two. And a swing and a drive foul the other way and right. Rebs are one for two in steals tonight against Wagner. Mitchell took one last inning. Figueroa early in the game though was caught. Do it again, another one, two on the way to Mesa, and it's inside, he jumps back. You know, a lot of sliders, fastballs away. Ramirez trying to go in and change the dynamic. He did make Mesa flinch. Two balls, two strikes now. And ready again. Coming home, there goes Casillas, swing and a miss. Breaking ball away, throw down to second though, is late. And Alexi, a good jump, he steals. On strike three, two outs in the inning. But Casillas swipes his 14th bag of the year. So he's in scoring position for Talvin Nash. As the Revs look for a little more, and they lead it 3-0 in the eighth. Nash tonight, 0 for 3, strikeout, two flyouts. And Ramirez.
Ramirez is ready to go. Here's the stretch from the right. Eight time asked for by Nash. Ramirez now lives in Fort Pierce, Florida. 6'3 righty. He is 30 years of age. He's with Bridgeport last year. Had a pretty good season there. First pitch to Nash, a swing and a foul back. Out of play. And Ramirez had been claimed by Long Island. But right at the beginning of Atlantic League spring training, he was dealt here for a player to be named later. That turned out to be starting pitcher Tyler Badamo. He's been with three different Atlantic League teams this year. On the stretch, Ramirez the 0-1, and a fastball in for a strike. Badamo was with Sugarland. Then signed here after being released. And New Britain then traded him to Long Island to complete the Ramirez deal. No balls, two strikes. Casilla checks his surroundings, leading from second base. And the 0-2 to Nash, slider down and away. B's in the bottom of the eighth will have eight, nine, and one due up. The Revs did have a right-hander loosening. We'll see if it's still Carson or if, if he will match his season high in innings tonight and hand it off. Well, Ramirez ready again. The one two, slider in the dirt, Wagner down to his knees to stay on top of it. Revs back home tomorrow, 6.30 against Long Island. It is Game of Thrones night, which is a show I've been told I need to binge watch. So that's on the to-do list. Another thing out there that is yet to be accomplished and won't be anytime soon. Like most of the items, pitch to Nash is up and in, three and two. And the problem is the list is in my head. Not a whole lot of crossing off being done. Alvin battles his way to a full count. Ramirez the stretch. And the 3-2. Slider line down the line and left. A little early, though. And this is foul over the picnic tent at the end of the seats. Again, small athletic field tied up with the York High home game tomorrow, but the Susquehanna Commerce Center parking garage will be open to Revs fans beginning at 5.30. That's for free. In addition to the other lots, private and public around the downtown area. Ramirez, another 3-2. Swinging a foul. This one back over the roof. And Nash in a battle. Get your tickets at YorkRevolution.com. We will... Uh, be broadcasting that York High game, hosting McCaskey tomorrow at 6.30 on WOYK Preps on YouTube. Week two of our high school football game of the week presented by Wellspan Sports Medicine. And the Revs, of course, will be on radio at 6.10. Here's another 3-2. Swing and a pop and another foul. This one off to the first base side. That gets to the top of the stands. Revs a 3-0 lead here in the eighth inning. Casilla at second with two outs. Had an infield hit earlier in the inning. 
stole second. Revs got an insurance run last inning, trying to do so again. Here's another 3-2. And a slider driven deep down the line in left field toward the pole. It is a fair ball. Out of here. Home run, Telvin Nash. And the Bees don't think so, but the plate on J.B. Torres pointed fair. He will circle him. Wally Backman making his way toward the plate. He'll be waiting for a chat. And the Revs with a 5 to nothing lead here in the top of the eighth inning. Nash with his 10th in 24 games back. And let the argument begin. And Wally with the head bob, he's pretty intense right from the get-go on this one. With the hands pointing, pretty much saying, what were you looking at? Polo is going to chat with the third baseman, Romero. The ball was hooking. Nash very calmly, confidently went into his trot. He certainly knew it had the distance. Oh, no. Now they're going to bring all three umpires together. He at least got them to ask. A line shot that if it stands is Nash's 10th. And it was hooking, it was right by the pole. All three together by the mound. Jorge Tehran, the third base, um, just said something to Jason Rogers, the first baseman hanging nearby that he didn't like. Maybe it was it was shoe telling him to leave the area so they could chat. And we all wait with bated breath to see what transpires from this. This is one heck of a lengthy chat. It's the plate ums call the whole way. He is looking right down the line. Tehran was off of third base with a runner at second. Wow, this is some meeting of the minds here. Now Torres starting to step back. He put his hands up. He's walking over to talk to Mace. Are they going to overturn this? You have got to be kidding me. And now Mace comes out, and he had that look about him like, oh, no, oh, no, you don't, as he approaches the plate ump. Ramirez is going to throw some warm-ups, meanwhile. And how do you do this? How do you botch that that badly? Casillas got his helmet back on, walking back towards second base. And, oh, this ought to be good because you know who helped overturn it? Third base, um, Jorge Tehran, who was awful in York last week. And Mace had his issues with him then. And we might be looking at Mace's first ejection of the year. I'm sure we'd rather see it at home, but... Another debacle here. And he is holding court with some animation and some intensity with all three. All three are in the mix. But Tehran was off third. It's got to be the plate ums call. And he let Tehran or whoever overturn it. And he let the argument convince him that he didn't know what he saw and that it could be overturned. And Mace out there fighting for his guy who just had his 10th home run taken off the board. And this is a pretty lengthy discussion as well. Boy, they really screwed that up. 
He had the plate ump looking right down the line. He called it. The whole thing developed. He rounds the bases. Then they chat for about five minutes. And somehow, after all that, come to the conclusion to overturn it. And Mace walking back to the dugout. He apparently is still in this game. Talvin Nash waiting far less than amused with his weight leaning against his bat, standing against it like a cane. Helmet held behind his back, just patiently waiting. And now he'll stand back in and try to do it again. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Casilla back at second. Here's yet another 3-2. And it's in the dirt, a bounce stop, hit Wagner in the face mask. Nash chucks his bat over his head back toward the dugout. And no doubt he's got to be disgusted with it. A home run taken off the board. He'll walk to first base, slow as can be, and accept the walk instead begrudgingly. And that ball was in the dirt. Casilla does move up to third on it. It's a wild pitch as well. And it's first and third now for Tejeda. And now Nash, I wonder if he's hearing something from the Bees dugout for how long he took. He was kind of looking in that way. As he unhooks his gear, needs a moment to do so. Hands it to Sandy, and now Tejeda will stand in. First and third, the inning's still going. And it's 3 nothing, not 5 nothing. Here in the top of the eighth. Now oh, they've found a way to kill the pace of this one. Pitched it to Heda, is in for a strike. I mean, I have no clue from this angle. I just know the guy that was supposed to make the call did and then let it get overturned. Here's the 0-1, swinging a high fly, right center field. Ford from center coming over, calls, puts it away, and the Revs do not score in the top of the eighth inning. Bravo, as they took that home run off the board. And with Nash, you're messing with franchise history. It would have been his 54th. No runs, one hit, two men left. And it is Carson heading back to the mound. He had a long time to wait in there. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's still in unbelievable fashion, 3 nothing York. Everything you've worked for may be facing a hostile takeover, but step outside the boardroom and look around. Not taking care of business right now could leave you dealing with a hostile takeover by crabgrass later this summer. And broadleaf weeds are just beneath the surface, ready to take their share of your turf too. Prevent hostile takeovers. Call Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care and give your lawn a good healthy start this year. Heritage Lawn can apply crabgrass pre-emergent and quality fertilizer now to fortify your lawn for later. HeritageLawnAndLandscape.com. World-class care right in your backyard. Presley Ridge believes that strong families are the foundation for strong communities. With compassionate and caring professionals, Presley Ridge offers individual child and family therapy in addition to foster care and other in-community services. To learn more about Presley Ridge and their impact on families right here in our community, visit presleyridge.org or call 717-845-6624. That's 717-845-6624. Money and business are essential to the strength of a community. So is cheering and celebration and music and fun. That's why York Revolution games, concerts, youth sports, special events, and more happen at a place called People's Bank Park. People's Bank has been serving York County for more than 150 years. Always cheering, always celebrating, always committed to the things that make York County great and to you having a great time at People's Bank Park. People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi, this is Enoel Polanco, and you're listening to Your Revolution Baseball on the home of the revolution, Sport Radio 1350 WOYK.
Head of the bottom of the eighth inning, three nothing is still the lead for the Revs. As in spectacular fashion, they had two runs removed. Robert Carson stays in. He'll face Ryan Wagner up first. First pitch is lined down the line in left field. It is fair, a base hit. Mesa over to glove it. And after the long wait, Carson's first pitch in the bottom of the eighth is served into left. It's the B's fourth hit. Ends a streak of seven in a row retired. And now he's got to get the number nine hitter, Conde, as Fletch will make a visit to the mound. Conde tonight out of the nine spot, two for two. And he's four for six. In the last two nights, homered and drove in three last night. After entering last night's game, hitting 154. Now Fletch will speak. Tying run now on deck. The top of their order will follow. This would be prime time for a double play. And just leave no doubt about it. Talvin Nash did his best to leave no doubt about it, but it is not a comfortable 5-0 lead. It's still 3 as he holds Wagner over at first base. Here's the stretch from Carson, first pitch. Fastball right there for a strike. On our York Mitsubishi out of town scoreboard, Lancaster now up nine to two. At Long Island in the sixth inning. Southern Maryland a two nothing lead in Sugarland in the third. Road Warriors and Somerset scoreless in the sixth. Here's the 0-1. Swinging a foul tip into the mitt. Fastball up. Carson right now is at 109 pitches. 72 strikes, 37 balls. Now he's ready. The 0-2 and a swing and a miss. He got him to climb the ladder. And a high fastball for a big first out. His seventh strikeout of the night. Conde retired for the first time in the game. It's the third straight out for Carson that has come on a strikeout. And now we go to the top of the order and Darren Ford, who's 0 for 3, does have a stolen base tonight. One on, one out. Carson with the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Fastball right by him. I think Rob wants this to be his game tonight. At least this inning yet. He is looking to bear down after that first pitch single. The 0-1. And a foul tip back to the netting. By the way, his season high... In strikeouts is eight twice. July 4th against Sugarland, July 26th against the Road Warriors. He's got seven right now. Ahead of Ford 0 and 2. Carson nods yes to Tejeda. He's ready. And the pitch. It is up high. One and two. As Ford does not elevate. Rebs leading it 3-0 here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And Carson is set. The 1-2. It's down in the dirt. Tejeda got a piece. Couldn't find it for a moment, but it's right there behind him. Two balls, two strikes the count. Rebs trying to take two out of three here at New Britain. If they're able to, it would also be five out of six overall. Seven out of ten. 
nine of the last 13. Now Carson with the 2 2. Swinging a fly ball, left field. Mesa right in his tracks, waiting. Walks in a couple of steps and makes the grab. Two down here in the bottom of the eighth inning. We are late in the season, obviously. And Carson has been stretched out since going into the rotation full time in early June. He's now at 115 pitches. And he will get to face at least one more hitter. And with it being a lefty, maybe only one more. It's Sonko who stands in. Carson's first pitch, swinging a bouncing ball right side. Alexi to his left, gobbles it up, tosses off to first. And Robert Carson, eight scoreless innings here tonight. A season high for him. And what an effort on his 116th pitch of the night. He gets Songko to ground out to second, and the inning is over. No runs, one hit, one left, a masterpiece through eight. And we'll go to the ninth tonight. Rev's still leading three to nothing. Hear that? It's the sound of summer. Sound nice? Call Kona Ice. We do it all. Schools, sporting events, parties, both corporate and birthday. You name it, we'll be there. We bring the party to you. If you need a little bit of fun in your life, we're the shaved ice truck for you. Oh, and we fundraise too. This summer, cool down with Kona Ice. Give us a call at 1-800-KONA-ICE or visit us online at www.kona-ice.com. Kona Ice, flavor our world. Runners know the challenge. It's not the uncompromising weather. It's not the pounding repetition. It's not knowing how to dig deep as you start the climb of that last hill. For runners, the challenge is the discipline to keep running. Flying feet. Casual runners, amateur runners, hardcore runners, no matter what level runner you are, Flying Feet Sports Shoes is with you every step of the way. Flying Feet has become the leader in athletic footwear and properly fitting the feet of runners throughout Central PA. Flying Feet has become the leader in athletic footwear, properly fitting the feet of runners throughout Central PA. And that holds true whether you're training or racing on roads, tracks, or trails. For those searching for that discipline, Flying Feet provides the latest shoe innovations, the accessories and equipment, and the inspiration to keep on running. Greg Baum and his staff have the the knowledge and the true understanding of what running is all about. As one local runner put it, Flying Feet is family, and all runners are welcome. Flying Feet. Flying Feet Sports Shoes, 1511 Mount Rose Avenue, York, just off exit 18 of I-83. This is Hall of Famer Jim Palmer. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on Sports Radio 1350, W-O-Y-K. First in York, first in sports. Oh, what a job from Robert Carson tonight. Eight scoreless, four hits. Revs with a 3-0 lead as we go to the ninth. Left-hander Chris Reed, the new pitcher for New Britain. He is 0-2 with a 370 ERA and 13 outings, one start. Yeah, he's got two lefties to face first with Mitchell and Burgess, then the Switch hitting Castillo and another lefty in Figueroa. Mitchell will lead it off. One for three tonight. Singled with two outs in the seventh. Stole second. And helped create a two-out run for insurance, which came on Castillo's single after Burgess had walked. Reed with the pitch. And it's over for a strike. The game was scoreless into the sixth. Rev struck for two, then one more in the seventh. Had two runs taken away last inning on the overturned home run of Nash. The 0-1, breaking ball high and tight. But Carson has made it stand up. 116 pitches. Revs have a righty firing in the bullpen. I think Gomez, but can't be certain behind that door. Partially hidden by the wall. Now the 1-1. Swinging a bouncing ball. Chopped down to first. Hit softly. Rogers has it. He'll take it over to the bag unassisted. 
Carson assuming he's done through eight innings. It's the second time in his Atlantic League career that he's gone eight. First time he's done it since August 17th of 2015. His first Atlantic League season, he was with Bridgeport. Went eight, allowed one run in what ended up being a 7-3 to three win at Sugarland. That was his fourth straight win at that point. Here's Burgess, fastball over for a strike, nothing in one. Burgess 0 for 2 with a walk tonight. Now Reed deals, and a slider in for a strike. The B's in the bottom of the ninth will have 3, 4, 5. Romero, Rogers, Rosa, all righties. Perhaps that's why... Mace has a righty, which might be Gomez loosening, not Richardson, the lefty. There's the 0-2. Fastball misses high. Read to the plate. Swinging a fly ball left field. Rosa coming in, shallow, still on his way, and he's got it. Two up, two down here in the top of the ninth inning. I'm going to do some digging to see if other times that Carson's gone eight innings. To go back to at least 2011, last time that he started before his Atlantic League days. Here is Henry Castillo, who's two for three tonight. With an RBI and a run. Bats from the right now, and Reed missing high on him. Castillo led off the sixth with a single, scored the first run, then drove in the insurance in the seventh. Big night. As he swings here, grounds one through. That's into left. Base hit his third in a row. Three for four. As he grounds one between third and short, the Revs with their eighth hit. Six have come from the sixth inning on, and Castillo's got three of them. And now here's Steven Figueroa. He's had a big night out of the nine spot. Two for three. RBI double to open the scoring in the sixth inning. And then scored a run himself. First pitch from Reed. It's a called strike. Down and away on him. The 0 1 and a foul back against the screen. Oh, Carson did go nine innings in a game in 2009 for the Savannah Sand Nats. Single A in the South Atlantic League. Complete game three hit shutout at Lexington. And he went eight in another outing that year. The 0-2, and he shoots a ground foul off the front of the Revs' dugout. Right by Milton, who was on the top step. The fence protected him, but he went jumping off the steps. Better safe than sorry. Another 0-2, swing and a miss. Got him to reach for a slider. Reed had him fooled on that and works the scoreless top of the ninth. No runs, one hit, and one left. And we go to the bottom of the ninth tonight here at New Britain. It's the Revs three and the Bees nothing. You hear a lot about CPAP masks these days. 
But here's something you don't hear much about. Over half of the people who wear a CPAP mask for sleep stop wearing it within a year. How's that working for you? Dr. Gordon Bell would like you to hear this. York Dental Sleep Therapy has dental options that can help many of those people. If you or someone you live with is struggling with sleep apnea, visit YorkSleep.com and see how Dr. Gordon Bell can help return your home to peaceful nights of deep, restful sleep. If you're groggy during the workday, if you wake up feeling exhausted, if you would like to get your nighttime sleep patterns back to a healthy state, get a confirmation from your doctor, then meet with Dr. Bell at his office on West Market Street in Hallam. He'll evaluate your symptoms and discuss which treatments would best suit your situation. Dr. Bell can restore restful sleep and get you feeling better day and night. York Dental Sleep Therapy. Call 316-1299 or visit YorkSleep.com to learn more. Show your patriotism and rev spirit with the new York Revolution Hat Pack. Get six undated ticket vouchers to use any way you'd like and two parking passes plus an exclusive Revolution hat featuring the Revs logo in red, white, and blue. It's an exclusive design from York's own Legacy Athletic and one you can only get through this special offer. The Revs Hat Pack. Six game ticket vouchers, two parking passes, and an exclusive Revolution baseball cap all for just $75. Get yours while supplies last at YorkRevolution.com or 717-801-HITS. Local sports on WOIK are brought to you by Maple Donuts, York's great tasting family tradition. Hi, I'm Joel Embiid of the Philadelphia 76ers. Catch Sixers basketball all season on sports radio. 1350 WOIK first in York, first in sports. Bottom of the ninth, it's 3-0 York. Ricardo Gomez comes on, pitching change, brought to you by Maple Donuts. He is 3-1, and one, one save this year, 4.05 ERA and 42 outings. He's got 98 career saves, 35 in the Atlantic League, 25 with York. First pitch to Davidson Romero, he fists one into shallow right, bloop base hit. On the first pitch, right off the bat handle and fisted into shallow right field. Now the tying run will go on deck. And Jason Rogers comes to the plate. He is 0 for 3 tonight. Gomez, who's second in Revs history in appearances, 203. Second in league history, 324. Fourth in Rev's history and saves with 25. First pitch to Rogers, slider down and away. Saw him here for two thirds of an inning on Tuesday night. Now ready, here's the 1-0. And a slider breaks away, he sort of fell off the front of the mound there. And behind 2-0 with the tying run in the on-deck circle. He'll look to come back, he leans in, he's set. 2-0 pitch, slider away. And it's a 3-0 count and one pitch away from having the tying run come up. Jovan Rosa on deck. And Gomez trying to locate the slider on Rodgers, but falls behind. 3-0. Fastball up and in. A blue base hit and a four-pitch walk. And right away, the Bees have the tying run at the plate. And Jovan Rosa will be the hitter. To hit a couple steps out to have a quick word with Gomez. And all of a sudden, not a lot of room for air. It's a 3 0 lead. Here's Rosa, who's struck out, flied out, popped up. Double play would be great. Gomez ready, first pitch. It is up high, fastball. And he is missed with five in a row after the blue base hit. And Tejeda takes a few steps out, throws it back, just trying to settle him down. 
Not a visit made, but and there might be one soon. Very quickly, the Bees have set up a threat. The 1-0 fastball misses high. He has missed with six in a row. Now here on Tuesday night, he did walk the first batter that he faced. Had a little trouble command-wise when he first came in, then got a ground out and a strikeout. Now trying to come back from 2-0. Pitches swung on, taps softly. Gomez in toward the first baseline. Calmly picks up and makes the throw to first. One away. And those two that move up in the grand scheme of things are not the ones that matter. Second and third with one down on a swinging bunt. And it does obviously take away double play potential. And Gomez now will face Jamar Walton with second and third and one away. Walton, who homered last night, he's hit three of his 12 this year against York, including a walk-off here in May. Tonight he's 0 for 3, two strikeouts and a ground out. Against Carson, he went eight scoreless, four hits, one walk, seven Ks. Pitch is swung on, sliced foul. Into the seats on the left side. It's nothing and one. Now has his sign from Tejeda. And the 0-1 pitch. It's in tight. Tejeda really had to reach a snow cone grab in near Walton's belt. One and one. Well, I guess if you're going to go in, you want to make sure you get it in here in this spot. He's the one that matters, the run at the plate. One ball, one strike. Gomez nods yes. And he'll kick it home. Fastball, a little low. Two and one. He seemed to want that one. Took a long look in. He got Rosa on a squibber for the first out after falling behind him. Might have been 2-0 that he swung on, at least 2-1. Here's the 2-1 to Walton, and it's in the dirt. Tejeda collapses down on it. Now a ball away from having the tying run reach and the winning run, Jonathan Galvez is on deck. Gotten a little hairy here in the ninth inning tonight. Now Gomez ready to go. Here's the 3 1. And Walton checking on a slider down and in. He held off. Bases loaded with one out on a single and two walks. And he's been missing with the slider. Fletch coming up the steps will head to the mound. He walked Rogers after falling behind on sliders. He tried to go 3-1 slider there on Walton and miss, not wanting to give him a fastball to hit. And I wonder how much of this visit from Fletch will be to tell him to trust his fastball. He's got a good one. But Galvez, a good fastball hitter. And he comes to the plate with the bases quickly and suddenly loaded. Here with one out in the ninth inning, the winning run. He homered last night in the sixth, which gave them the lead for good. Eight homers in the year, all at home. Tonight, two strikeouts with a line out to left in between. 
Three nothing still is the lead. Bases loaded, one out in the ninth. And Gomez with the pitch. Slider just missed away. Come on now. Gomez shaking his head. And that one looked awfully good. Now ready, the 1-0. Swing and a miss. He got the chase, a slider that clearly broke off the plate away. And it's a 1-1 count. And that first pitch, you certainly don't want to see the zone get tightened at this juncture of the game. Here's the 1-1, fastball away as he yanked that one. Well, they've gotten into a bit of a sticky situation here. Two balls and a strike. James Skelton has a bat to pinch hit on deck. The 2-1, fastball strike, outside corner called. Gomez back to even things up. Double play would end it. Two and two with them loaded, one out in the ninth. Now Ricardo leans forward, stares in, he nods yes, he's ready. Now the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. And he does go back to the fastball and he's got out number two here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And now James Skelton will pinch hit. With the bases loaded, two outs in the ninth. He was three for four last night, hit a three-run homer here the night before. Winning run at the plate, he's got three homers. First pitch is beaten foul on the ground, down the first base side. Nothing and one. Overall, he's hitting 266. Three home runs for the year. 28 driven in. No balls, one strike, and the count. Stretch from Gomez, he fires, and it's down and in. Slider toward the back foot. One and one. Vicente Conde, who's been a problem for the Revs in this series, is on deck. Three-nothing lead with the bases loaded, two outs, bottom nine. The stretch, Gomez, the 1-1, fastball away. Remember, this would have been a five-nothing lead had Nash's home run stood back in the eighth. Was overturned foul after a lengthy meeting of the minds. The 2-1. Swing at a ground ball, first base, Nash has it. He'll take it to the bag, game over. And the Revs with a combined shutout win in the rubber match here at New Britain. It's a three, nothing final here tonight. Robert Carson, a masterpiece in eight scoreless innings for his ninth win of the year. And Gomez, whoo escapes with his second save of the season. 26th of his Revs career and the 99th of his pro career. And so many of those he has just dominated and mowed through an inning tonight. It was awfully dangerous after a single, a walk, Another one-out walk, low to the bases, but Gomez buckles down, strikes out Galvez, and gets the pinch hitter Skelton to ground out. And the Revs file through the victory line. They've taken two out of three here at New Britain. They have won five of the last six.
Seven of the last 10. Nine of the last 13 overall, and it's a 3-0 final here at New Britain Stadium tonight. 3-0 the win. Stay tuned. Post-game show is coming up next. There's a lot of talk out there about good health care. We all want a good plan. But step outside and take a good look at all those beautiful trees and shrubs in your yard. Do you have a plan to maintain their good health? Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care has a veteran staff of 12 fully licensed and trained tree health care professionals to rely on, including 10 certified arborists and 3 PA certified horticulturalists. So don't let your trees and shrubs fend for themselves against Mother Nature. Visit HeritageLawnAndLandscape.com and get world-class care right in your backyard. Sports injury? Walk into Wellspan Urgent Orthopedics for immediate care. No appointment is ever needed. Our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists are here to treat you. Visit wellspan.org forward slash urgent orthopedics today for hours at our York and Hanover locations. Getting pumped for another year of high school football? All this month, Sports Radio 1350 WOIK lays it all out for you in the High School Football Spotlight, presented by Wellspan Sports Medicine. Catch a preview every day in August on Sports Radio 1350 as we break down the teams and the players of the 2018 York Adams League. Or go to WOIK1350.com to access this year's complete lineup of high school football preview. Then, this fall, every Friday night, it's the High School Football Game of the Week, presented by Wellspan Sports Medicine. Only here on Sports Radio 1350. If you've been looking for the best of both worlds in your next vehicle purchase, your search ends at York Mitsubishi. I'm sales manager Doug Sprankle. Let me introduce you to the all-new Eclipse Cross, combining all-wheel drive with terrific fuel economy and sports car handling, all for as low as $22.4. We've got the family-friendly seven-passenger Outlander starting at $21.2 and the always popular Outlander Sport as low as $18,990. We'll make it even easier to buy with 0% financing for 72 months and no payments for 90 days. But if it's just inexpensive transportation you want, you have to drive the go-kart on steroids at 40 mile per gallon plus Mitsubishi Mirage with automatic transmission and more for just $13.5. York Mitsubishi is still giving out top dollar for all trade-ins, giving you more stuff for less money and almost twice the warranty of the competition. York Mitsubishi, around the corner of Route 30 and Roosevelt Avenue, York, where Mitsubishi's always cost less. Check us out at YorkMitsubishi.com. Prices include all rebates, 0% of lieu of some rebates to deal with your details. Feelings of stress, sadness, or anxiousness can be signs of depression or other mental health issues that should be addressed. If life seems too difficult to manage, Presley Ridge can help. Call Presley Ridge today and our team of compassionate mental health professionals will help you enjoy your life again. Presley Ridge offers mental health services for all ages in York and Harrisburg. Make an appointment today. Call 717-845-6624 or visit presleyridge.org slash outpatient. This hour on WOYK is brought to you by Maple Donuts. Quality you can see. Revs win it tonight, 3 nothing. What a dandy of a performance this was, although it got a little dicey late. Daryl Henry back with you as we welcome you to the postgame show. Revs pick up their 10th shutout win of the year. That's a, a pretty significant total to have that many shutouts tonight. A combined effort. Robert Carson, your Kochman Kunkel Insurance Group player of the game. Eight scoreless innings, tying his longest Atlantic League career outing. Last time he did it was a little over three years ago as a member of the Bridgeport Bluefish. Eight scoreless, four hits, walked one, struck out seven. And the game was scoreless all the way into the sixth tonight with neither team mounting very many threats offensively the first five innings. Bees did leave runners at third base in the third and fifth, but Carson was very visibly in control throughout that stretch, and you were never really all that concerned when they had those runners in scoring position. But in the sixth, ending a streak of seven in a row, retired by Kyle Simon, Henry Castillo lined a single to right on the first pitch of the inning. Steven Figueroa followed with an RBI double to deep right and took third on the throw, and just like that, the Rebs had a 1-0 lead. Alonzo Harris, after looking at a ball on the second pitch that 
he saw in his at bat sky to sack fly to right and the revs quickly had a two to nothing lead Carson was at his best during this stretch. He followed it with a 1 2 3 6th, 1 2 3 7th. In the top of the 7th, the Revs added to it. As with two outs, Jared Mitchell singled to keep the inning alive, stole second. After a walk to Burgess, Mitchell would score from second on a Henry Castillo single to left center. Castillo, a very honorable mention for our player of the game honors tonight. He was three for four, scored the first run, and drove in the third. The Revs had a three-nothing lead. They thought they made it five-nothing in the eighth. Talvin Nash with two outs, three-two count, lined what looked like a two-run homer down the line in left field. The plate on JB Torres, it was clearly his call standing on the line. And he signaled fair, but Wally Backman came out to argue it. Torres agreed to get the other two umpires together, and the collective brain trust overturned it. And Nash's 10th of the year was not. And the Revs still had a 3 0 lead, not 5 0. But Carson didn't let any turn in momentum creep up. He did allow a first pitch single after a long wait. In the bottom of the eighth, but came right back to retire the next three. And went eight scoreless innings in an absolute gem. So in the bottom of the ninth, the Revs called on Ricardo Gomez, and Davidson Romero greeted him with a first pitch single to right. Then a four-pitch walk to Jason Rogers, then fell behind Jovan Rosa 2-0. With the tying run at the plate, Gomez would get Rosa, though, on a little dribbler along the first base line, a swinging bunt for the first out. He did then walk Walton to load the bases, which brought the winning run to the plate. But Gomez, as he's done so many times in his career, got tough, struck out Jonathan Galvez for the second out, and retired pinch hitter James Skelton on a ground ball to first base for the third out, and for the Revs, the 27th out in this combined shutout tonight. A 3-0 final. Totals in this one for the Revs, three runs, eight hits, one error, six left. For New Britain, no runs, five hits, no errors, and they left eight. The win goes to Carson. He is 9-6. and six. The loss to Kyle Simon, 8-7. and seven. Save as Gomez, second of the year, 99th of his pro career, 26th of his Revs career, 36th of his Atlantic League career. Time of the game, two hours, 42 minutes, played in front of 1,565 here at New Britain Stadium tonight. As the Revs go to 57 and 53 overall, 25 and 22 in the second half, New Britain falls to 56 and 54 overall, and in the second half, 23 and 24. Revs finished the season series 10 and 8 against the Bees, and that's a pretty good rebound after going just 8 and 13 against them last season. We take a look at our York Mitsubishi out of town scoreboard to wrap things up tonight, and we'll just do the Atlantic League. We have our first college football broadcast to join in progress but Lancaster leads the Long Island 9 to 6 that's in the 7th inning at Bethpage Ballpark Somerset does lead the Road Warriors now 1 to nothing in the bottom of the 7th at TD Bank Ballpark Southern Maryland is up 2 nothing in the 5th inning at Sugarland and this is the first game finished tonight in the standings in the second half the Revs are now within 7 and a half but that is, uh, that's pretty much out of reach. So the overall standings, Lancaster leading the wild card spot by three and a half over Long Island. If there would be a second wild card spot and Somerset is four back of Long Island beginning tonight, they could get to within three tonight. Revs would need Somerset to win the second half to open up that second wild card because York is seven behind Lancaster for the first spot. But trailing Long Island by three and a half for the second spot, and at this very moment, it's down to three. New Britain, a costly loss tonight. They are now four full games back of the Ducks in that second wild card position. 
And uh, the Revs, of course, will be facing the Ducks the next three days in York. So if they can win, I mean, really, if you, <laughs> you'd almost have to win all three head-to-head -head because if you win two out of three, you only pick up one game. But a chance to do some damage head-to-head -head and give themselves at least some chance heading into the final two weeks of the regular season. They, of course, need Long Island to lose so that Somerset can come back and make a run at winning the second half to open up that second wild card spot. So some huge games on tap coming up this weekend. We will be back at it tomorrow night. 6.30, first pitch at home. It's Game of Thrones night to kick off the homestand. Tickets available at YorkRevolution.com. 717-801-HITS and at the Revs ticket office. And with small athletic field parking being unavailable, the Revs have an agreement with the Susquehanna Commerce Center as the Susquehanna Commerce Center parking garage will be open for Revs fans to park for free after 5.30 tomorrow afternoon. Also, a number of private and public lots within walking distance of the stadium will be operational as usual. So for more on those, visit downtownyorkpa.com slash parking and make your plans to join us for what should be another very fun night at People's Bank Park tomorrow night. The reason that Small Athletic Field is unavailable, the York High Bearcats are hosting McCaskey tomorrow, and we'll have that broadcast on our WOYK Preps YouTube channel Live at 6.30, it is presented by Wellspan Sports Medicine. Brett Petrak and Gareth Hissong will have the call on that. Michael Mark Antonini and I will be on air with you for the Revs game on radio as well as on the new WOYK app, WOYK1350.com, and the standard WOYK1350 YouTube channel will be on at 6.10 tomorrow. And we hope you can join us then. By the way, the high school game is also on WOYK1350.com and the new WOYK app. The difference is different YouTube channels tomorrow night with both broadcasts going on simultaneously. But we hope you can join us for both. Hope we can have you join us in person at People's Bank Park tomorrow as the Revs wrap up this series here at New Britain, having taken two of three coming up next on woyk tonight we'll join our first college football broadcast of the year in progress northwestern and purdue kicking it off tonight stay tuned for that then later on tonight as part of our nfl schedule preseason action in progress after the college game with the raiders visiting the seahawks for some late night football right here on WOYK. Until tomorrow night, Daryl Henry saying so long from New Britain Stadium. Again, the final this evening. It's the Revs 3 and the Bees nothing. Thanks a lot for listening. Enjoy the rest of your night. We'll talk to you tomorrow at 6:10 for the pregame. Back home in York, right here on Sports Radio 1350 WOYK. Thank you for listening to the Atlantic League champion York Revolution on Sports Radio 1350 WOYK. Catch the Revs all season on York's only place for local sports. Tune in 20 minutes before first pitch for a trip to the clubhouse with player interviews and the manager Mark Mason every game. Listen throughout the day for the Revs report and check out WOYK1350.com for highlights and features on York's pro team. The Atlantic League champion York Revolution, all season on Sports Radio 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Now we return to our regularly scheduled programming already in progress on Sports Radio 1350 WOYK, York.